Oh my god, no way. Guys, Tipster is getting annihilated by every fucking side of the internet without me doing jack shit. I'm I'm falling behind on Tipster bullying. This is impossible. But it has happened. <clears throat> it has happened. That is how bullied Tipster is right now. Uh, when is where where is the link to my stream? Bully time! It is bully time. Bully, 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 bully. Here we go. One viewer. Oh, there we go. There are the. There's the people, dude. Look at all these tips. Look at all these tipsters. All right. Fuck, dude. Whenever you link something on Twitter, Elon, like, ass rapes it. But whatever, dude. I'll just put the link. Dude, there has been so much tipster stuff going on, bro. So much. Wait one sec. I do that because I want to bring up Discord, but I didn't want to show it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, one sec. I need a... So the funniest thing has been happening to Tipster, dude. Well, a lot of things have been happening to Tipster. But if I try to look up what's happening with Tipster, and I go on YouTube and I type in, oh my god, I'm going to type in Tipster. My response to Tipster by Boogie, which we're going to watch... Don't worry, dude. I like Boogie again. Finally, dude, some good Boogie content. We have Omigon, Briz, Nicholas Diorio, Tom Dark, Chris the Narc, Omigon again, Willie Mac Show, and then it just goes into non-tipster videos, dude. People also watched these. Why I Hate Tipster, Bungie, Tom Dark, Lorex, Fembro! Fembro's video, that's great, by the way. We, react, we reacted to the whole thing here on Mayo Monkey. Um, it still has under 400 views. Criminal. But it still comes up before Tipster's actual account. Where the hell is Tipster, dude? Where is he? Well, as many of you guys know, if... Um, YouTube searches uh, or shows search results based on what people are, wa people are watching within the keyword. So, if most people searching up for tips, searching for tipster, are watching tipster expose instead of actual tipster, then they'll recommend tipster expose. So it just, and usually the channels have preferential treatment. But Tipster has been, his videos have been doing so bad that the, it's just not in search results anymore at all. You go to filters, you go to channel, right? And he's the first one that pops up. So that's the only way to get to Tipster. But if you type in like Tipster channel to get to the channel. This, the Tipster with 76 subs comes up. Before actual tip. So obviously, he was complaining about this on Twitter, right? He's complaining about this on Twitter. Uh, Nick has been doing so many tipster bully tweets, man. I want to retweet all of them, but like, I don't know, dude. I don't want to spam my feed with just tipster, but I already do that, so I don't know. Or just retweeting Nick. But he has been having a bunch of tippy bangers. Um recently that we were we will probably go over them all because i have not been 
I haven't streamed in like a couple days. And by the way, in my last stream, I said I was like a bit ill. I still am a bit ill. I took some Dayquil though, so we're good generally for the stream. But keep in mind, I probably won't be able to go Mayo Monkey mode too much. I probably won't be able to scream your eardrums out if you have headphones too much this stream. Although I'll do my best, especially if the situation warrants it. Although nothing I've seen that we're gonna cover is like suit like shocking because it's very rare these days to actually get like a shocking tipster moment because he has done so much shit but anyway anyway so tipster right he speaks to youtube about it uh <laughs> and the response dude the fucking this is funny okay this is funny asmr tipster bullying hell yeah yeah dude I feel like I'm so lucky as a YouTuber because, like, my people say my voice is good, nice to listen to, and I feel like that carries me a lot on YouTube. But regardless, um, he's talking with Agent Hazel, right? So, just a standard thing. Are you doing okay? I am. Good to hear. I call... <laughs> I am contacting you because my audience has informed me that as of yesterday, my channel no longer appears in search results. I checked with an alt account and confirmed this is an issue. What would cause this and how can we fix this? They even tried filtering to search for just channels and it didn't show up in search. Wait, so when you tip typed in tipster and went to channels, tipster didn't come up? I actually think I remember that because... I, unironically, yesterday, was trying- Oh my god, he's not here! Where did he go? Dude, Tip's not here! We get this tip, that tipster, tips out, PC tipster. Okay, PC- Dude, PC tipster's probably way better than, than real tipster, bro. Dude, imagine if this was tipster. Today, we are going to show you the best external SSD. You Let's can go. Buy right we have analyzed the market <coughs> and listed these top. Dude, if this was real tipster, it would be like, for those of you who don't know, an SSD is a storage disk drive device for your PC personal computer. Like just going fucking full in, <clears throat> except not sounding nerdy and nasally. Again, I'm get, trying to get over a cold. You probably heard it in some of the Twitter versus videos I made recently. It they took so long to make. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh thanks for sharing your concern. I understand you are concerned by your channel search results, tipster. Didn't notice till now? Damn, dude. It's like one of those things where it's like you don't notice it until it's pointed out. And maybe you can't stop listening. I don't know. Um Anyway, Tipster says, yes, my channel just randomly stopped showing up in search results. My audience has been informing it of me, me of it since yesterday. Randomly. I, I just don't know how Tipster doesn't know what's going on. I understand contacting support to double check, but to say randomly, I mean, I, we there's been other dramas where the content creator's name is so used used so much in videos that are watched uh frequently on youtube that they get their main channel gets drowned in search results usually during like a peak of a drama that probably happened with deaf noodles probably not now because people don't make that many deaf noodles videos anymore because he it's he's not in the heat of controversy um but yeah whenever someone is uh in the heat of controversy unless they're like huge like george not found or something they usually get buried in the algorithm. I feel like, like, I feel like this is common knowledge, especially for people within our sector of YouTube who pays more attention to like this type of stuff. But uh, I guess tipster didn't know. So it's just like, thanks for confirming screenshots. Um, you know, this typical stuff. And then the response, dude, the response is what's funny. Uh, please know that like Google search engine, search on YouTube strives to surface the most relevant results according to keyword inquiries. Literally telling tipster you're irrelevant, dude. And I love it because it's like done, this is done in a professional manner. They're not trying to roast him. 
Like, this customer support person is not trying to roast him. They are trying to give just the most accurate info they can based on YouTube, but just happens to be a roast. Search on YouTube. <laughs> Strives to service YouTube strives to service the most relevant results according to keyword inquiries. Channels slash videos are ranked based on a variety of factors, including how well the title, description, and video content may match the viewer's uh, query. Beyond that, we look at which videos have driven the most engagement for the uh, qu qu query, 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 query. Search results, <laughs> apparently I can't read. It's my job, by the way, for the last five years. Uh, search results are not on a list of the most watched videos or channels for any given query. A and I do think that YouTube favors channels over videos, but if the videos are just so overwhelmingly more searched up and clicked on than the channel, then it will uh, change it. But sometimes if the username is like unique enough, it just won't. Um, but, like, Tipster is kind of like a general kind of username, you know? We saw, like, a bunch of other Tipsters, like PC Tipster or whatever. It's like, I'm giving you a tip, and I'm stir. Like, it's pretty, um, it's pretty simplistic. So, uh, that's another reason why it could not be coming up. Which, by the way, is something that actually, if you look here, is something they say. I forgot they said that. I swear I didn't look at that beforehand, but yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Also, uh, YouTube tries to search the most relevant results. Results can include videos, channels, playlists, and live streams. You may not find your channel at the top of the search at the top of the search if your handle or channel name is commonly used in video titles. <laughs> yup, that's definitely happening. <laughs> they just like straight up said, "Yup." You have too many exposed videos on you. Uh, you have a common channel name, which is kind of true. You know, Tipster, not the most common name, but it's pretty common. We saw a bunch of accounts called Tipster. If I compare to, like, accounts called Bo Blacks, there's probably not that many. Um, let's actually see. Bo Blacks. Oh, sorry, I haven't zoomed in for the thing. Bing, bada, bing, bada, bing, bada, boom, channel. Yeah, it's just, um, just a couple. You know, it's just Bo Blacks, Mayo Monkey, Bo Blacks Beta, Josh Bo Blacks. This is not me. Um, Bo Blacks is a gay virgin in blackface. That's definitely not me. And then Lil Rex. Bo Black Shorts, I think that might have been something I made, but I'm not sure. I mean, it has one sub and the moment back. So, you know, if we search up Tipster. You have all, like, these. Well, I mean, still not that many. I don't know. I guess YouTube was just fucking them over. With that. But I, I do think the main reason he's, uh, he's, I mean, we saw his channel name come up there. The main reason he's out of the search is because there's so many tips for exposed videos. Uh, your YouTube channel's new. Your channel name may not be appropriate to all audiences. Learn more here. Additionally, here are some tips! Giving tips to the tipster, dude. Giving tips to the tip. Here's some tips, tipster. Straight from YouTube. See what words people use to find your channel in traffic sources in YouTube analytics. Consider incorporating the most relevant search terms for each of your new videos and channels. And by the way, I guarantee all this advice is actually like news to Tipster. Like I bet Tipster doesn't even like look at channel analytics. He just uploads and is like, oh, why aren't my videos doing well? And then doesn't like actually look at the analytics and try to like analyze what he could improve and where. Um, Cause that's definitely what I would be doing if my channel was struggling as much as his. Um, uh, consider incorporating the most relevant search terms for each of your new video slash channel. Uh, you can add them as titles and descriptions as long as they're accurate and not excessive. Uh, 
which is basically just saying, like, there's a limit on how long you can make titles. I think titles can only be 100 characters. So, I think descriptions only can be, like, 1,000 characters or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, write robust descriptions up to one to two paragraphs long if relevant. That will help with search results. Uh, consider implementing YouTube's tra translation tools to reach an international audience. Yeah, dude, that is a way Tipster can escape the drama, dude. He could just start speaking Spanish and do Spanish videos. And Tipster. Me gusta menudo. That's what he would be like uh, if he was Spanish. Spanish tippy. But that doesn't make sense. Why would my channel search up one day, but not search up and search the next day? They literally explained it, Tipster. What? Like, this detailed response. But that doesn't make sense! Okay. I mean, I've definitely said, but that doesn't make sense to these YouTube, like, people before. But not when they give me an in-depth explanation like that. Bruh, <laughs> they just continue. They're in the middle of typing it. Dude, t there's no way Tipster actually read and processed any of that information. He was just, he was just spam typing, dude. Brainstorm new video ideas by looking at search results for popular and less competitive uh, queries. So Tipster, they're basically saying Tipster is a competitive category of YouTube video right now. Everyone's making Tipster videos. And the actual tipster, where 100% of his videos are tipster videos, because he is tipster, is losing in his own category. Nobody wants to watch tipster. Actually, a great example, I just remembered, uh, because I, 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 was, I thought there was a good example of this, but it was at the tip of my tongue. Onision. Onision had the exact same thing happen to him. You type in Onision in 2020, you get all the exposed videos before any of his channels. Um, and Tipster saw that and knew it about it. I guess, I mean, it was like, what, like four or three years ago, so. But generally, it's, it's common knowledge, especially in the drama community. So, so my channel just disappears overnight and that's normal? Dude. He's coping, dude. The, the the speed at which he fucking typed it. There's no way he read all of the stuff uh, prior to that, man. In one minute? No way. Especially with how slow his brain is. He's coping. He's just like spam typing. So my channel disappears overnight? That doesn't make any sense. They could give him the solution. They could just like be like, okay, click this link and it'll fix it. And Tipster will be like, what? That doesn't make sense. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I truly appreciate your persistence in uh, seeking a different solution. We've carefully examined your case and offered the best resolution possible within our guidelines. Thank you. Uh, understand it is an ideal. Yeah. So, I just thought it was really funny that he complains about this. And the, and the advice from YouTube is literally like, there's nothing broken with our website. You're not shadow banned, because that's what people are saying, or one of his friends is saying, like, he's shadow banned or whatever. No, it's just that your videos aren't good enough compared to other videos with Tipster in the title. So, here's some, is some advice to, like, get videos in the search algorithm. Uh, Mike the Bike, member for one month. Tipster is too big of a lol cow now. YouTube is trolling him. I must say, this is truly what someone like Tipster deserves. Yeah, I mean, he he does deserve it in the sense of not like what he's done necessarily, but definitely, well, he does deserve it in the sense of what he's done, because fuck Tipster. But also, um, or, or he does deserve it, not doesn't. Uh, but, uh, do, 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 do. what am I trying to say? I can't find his channel. This is actually an issue. This is actually an issue. I'm trying to find his channel. 
to make this point. Um, but basically his, what the fuck? Is it just at tipster live? Here we go. Yeah, so not only does he deserve to be buried in the search algorithm because tipster sucks, but more so because he sucks at being a fucking YouTuber, dude. Like, the video, when you watch his videos, like, I guarantee if you go into Tipster's analytics, like, the uh, watch retention is going to be down to, like, a minimum. Like, people are going to be, the click-off rate early on is going to be huge. Um, you know, the title, he's just, he's not talking about topics people are interested in hearing about. Um, his titles and thumbnails are pretty bad. Not as bad as they were before. When we were friends with Tipster, uh, way, especially way back in the day, like 2019, 2020, his thumbnails were so bad. I think we definitely made fun of them on After Hours one day. Um, but they were bad. They're not as bad now, but it's still really shit. Uh, his content's, like, not engaging at all. Like, long videos only work if people watch all the way through. And if you're not going to make... You're like, Steam if you're not going to make your 50 hour video entertaining, at least put some chapters because if there's chapters, then people are able to like skip around. Like if I go to what, where, what's a long video with chapters? Like maybe one of the right opinions videos has chapters, right? Cause you can actually see this on videos. Now you can see, uh, where, like where the peak is in viewership. And I guess the peak here was so huge that by, like, scale comparison, you can't see the peaks. But generally, it peaks up by, um, by the chapter. Because if people are uninterested in one part, they'll go to the next. Uh, particularly, it works if it's, like, actually multi-topic. Topic. Like, this is all about one person and it's just, like, kind of different sections of this one person's story so people wouldn't be as inclined to click around but regardless basically what i'm saying is that if you have chapters uh that will help with retention rate for long videos everyone knows that um he's not doing it to be fair i'm too lazy to do it but also my channel isn't getting buried in search results and having like 2k views on a 100k sub channel so but i should go back and put it on fucking chapters <laughs> um bobby b sends ten dollars youtube is basically saying try making better content than being the content exactly uh mike the bike sends five i also wouldn't be surprised if all his videos he deleted also plays a part maybe a little bit but uh, the search algorithm is more based on recent or more recent videos rather than it prioritizes recent videos over older videos when you search something and a bunch of people have been making tipster videos so it would only sh if tipster had a channel that was doing well it would just show off tipsters new videos and then it would show uh, everybody else's tipster videos and it but it wouldn't show like really old tipster videos so I think him deleting a lot of his content from way back uh, I don't think that's affecting this but it might it might it may have affected his general channel recommendation and that poor decision could have like snowballed other things in the algorithm and other bad decisions he makes and it got him down to this point where once he gets exposed for the wash stuff and people start making tipster videos he's gonna get drowned out because all those people actually know how to promote a video and like make a good thumbnail and title and keep people engaged <clears throat> But, um, yeah, and I think dislikes also have a, have a, an effect on it. I think if a lot of people dislike a video, it's way less likely to get recommended. Um, so, I guess people dislike the tipster videos. Although, I thought his videos actually got, like, okay likes and dislikes if it's on, if it's on, like, a topic that isn't, uh, something that like the haters would want to watch I guess which is probably most of his viewership let's be real but so yeah you, you see that there's majority likes here which probably helps but I mean his overall channel is just 
It, it, it just, it, but it makes sense, dude. It makes sense. Like, I'm not even saying, like, oh, this is a trap that the YouTube algorithm has, and he should have known how to avoid it. Like, it makes sense with what YouTube is, which is, like, an algorithm-based uh, video site that um, promote, promotes videos based on an algorithm to most suit the person searching for certain key terms or... Uh, watching other videos with certain things in it or whatever. Like, if you watch a tips like this tipster bully stream, you're going to get recommended tipster videos and tipster streams. Right? Um, but, like, the topics tipster are covering is stuff that no one would ever fucking search for, ever. Like, who... How many people are typing in J.K. Rowling... Or J.K. Rowling Holocaust Revisionist? Like, how much, like, think about that tipster. I'm giving you YouTube advice, too. This is going to be a YouTube advice stream for fucking tipster. But, like, think about it logically. Like, how many people are searching up or watching anything in relation to Holocaust and J.K. Rowling? Now, if it was about J.K. Rowling uh, and it had something to do with, like, Harry Potter, like, she's like... It, the video say like, J.K. Rowling ruined Harry Par Potter, and this is why. If people are looking up Harry Potter stuff, they're going to see that video. If it's just about the Holocaust, people looking up Hitler shit, World War II shit, um, they're going to maybe get that recommended. How many World, World War II um, Harry Potter... J.K. Rowling specific viewers are there? Like, what demographic are you are you trying to reach? Um, I mean, I guess he could just say, oh, these videos are for my core audience. It isn't for people outside my audience to see and get interested in Tipster. Uh, I'm not trying to attract new viewers. I'm just trying to uh, keep my current viewers happy. Well, your current viewership is around 1,000. And if you're a channel with 100,000 and YouTube sees that your videos are pulling 1,000, even if that 1,000 is consistent across all videos, YouTube's not going to be inclined to promote that channel. Like, what? there's so many. Like, he's just retarded. And I'm, I'm, it's like, how, dude? How You've been doing YouTube since 2006. You're not doing it in a way where it's just a hobby. I know it's not your full-time job, but you're doing it in a way where you're trying, you're putting thumbnails, you're putting titles, you're looking for topics, talk with your community, all the egoth mommies and shit like that. You're trying, but how can you try for, like, almost two decades and not get it? I know YouTube's always evolving, but still, you were around YouTubers who got it and were successful. Even Keffels probably knows more about YouTube and the algorithm than you. And you've been on here longer. Like, does he not learn? Like, is his brain, like, just so hollow that he doesn't absorb any information? I actually think that might be the case. Like, Tipster doesn't absorb any information that he receives. Someone can tell him something, and he'll just forget about it and do the same mistake that could have been avoided by taking the advice he heard a million times before. But it just never sticks. No information sticks. Not even, and that, and that's why he's a horrible YouTuber entertainment-wise. And that's why he's like a borderline retard. He is a retard, bro. It's crazy, dude. We need to, like, study his brain, dude. We need to study him and kind of figure out what disorder or what series of events caused his brain to just not be able to pick up and retain information that well. Like... Was he born this way? Is it genetic? Did something happen to him? I don't know, dude. It, it is a psychological mystery. And you do know that... Men <clears throat> fuck, voice crack. <laughs> Mental health and psychology are one of the most underdeveloped, uh, you know, uh, categories of, you know, science or whatever in terms of our knowledge compared to everything else. I said that sentence really weird. But basically, there's a lot more to learn about the brain that we still don't know about. Someone needs to get Tipster in a lab, dude. Someone needs to fit that tub of lard in a lab and fucking study his brain. 
Tipster should be banned from breathing. Two dollars. Thank you, Snare Player. Yeah. Uh, Tipster should be banned from breathing. Fuck it. I'm gonna just endorse it, dude. I was about to say, like, uh, uh disavow. I don't know. Maybe he should breathe. Nah, fuck it. Just fucking take off their oxygen, man. Just deprive him. All right. But there, there's there been a lot of, of Tipster going on. Oh, yeah. He was fighting Boogie. Oh, and also, oh, my God. This is so funny. If you type tipster lolly, you can find his account really easily. There we go. Instant, dude. Just type in tipster lolly. Why doesn't tipster tell his fans to type in tipster lolly? It works every time. Yeah, so Boogie destroyed uh, tipster. Dude, I, tipster lolly. I can't believe that works. It's so awesome that that works, man. It's him coping about it. Several people have informed me. But we already saw that. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah, it was this. This is the other new tipster thing. This is crazy. So this, these set of tipster tweets, right? They were made yesterday. But I, when I saw them. So I saw it like around when Nick posted this, I think. Right? And when I saw it, I assumed that this was like an old tweet. Like... I knew it said six minutes, two minutes, but I thought it was screenshotted like a long time ago and he was just bringing it back up, right? And posting about it. And then two hours went by and I came back to Twitter and I saw this tweet again. And I saw someone talk about it and, and be like, oh my God. Or, or like, no, I, I think I saw the second tweet of Tipster or of, uh, of Nick showing their current videos and I'm like, wait, they said this a while ago. You can't just bring up their current videos. But then I realized that th I, I went to Tipster's account to double check, and these tweets are new. They're new. This isn't old. But the way, I, I swear I've heard them have this exact same conversation or say this exact same thing or something. But uh, Clara says, I think the drama side of content creation encourages harassment and obsessive behavior that makes you a worse person. She definitely has said this before, 100%. Uh, I think she said, like, I've been a worse person because of drama, and I'm quitting drama, and then, like, a week later, she got onto the Vosh. She defended Vosh CP, right? I fell into the trap of making drama content and engaging in the same behaviors people have used to hurt me. I deeply regret it, and I'm sorry to those I've hurt. Um, uh, and then Tipster says, that brand of content brings out the worst in everyone. It made me a person that when I look back on, I'm ashamed of, and I genuinely wish I never got wrapped up in it. We all make mistakes, but all we can do is better, all we can do is do better moving forward. Dude, I swear he said something like this before. He's definitely said he's ashamed of the person it made him. Bitch, the person you are is, like, literally nothing. And you literally, like, attach yourself to ideas and people around you to form to form yourself into a more full-fledged person. Um, and then eat some more jack-in-the-box meals to make you obesely fleshed person. But, that aside, uh, he yeah, he's literally, like... Dipster, nothing sticks with him. He has a hollow brain. Shit goes in one ear, falls out the other, uh, unless it's a set of instructions. Do this, or say this, or have this opinion, and then you're cool. And he'll stick onto that, because he's addicted to looking like a badass, to the point of putting, like, sunglasses on and trying to be cool, even though, like, Everyone knows that it's long, even when we were friends with him, it was long, it has long gone to the point where the cool guy tipster act is basically like satirical or like a parody on himself. Because it's like, oh, why would tipster be badass, right? It's his badass. Um, but I guarantee he tried, to, he tried to do that in earnest, man. If you look at some of the old tipster branding, the very old tipster branding before he had all this blue shit, 
Oh my god, he tried to have a gangster. He had like these like um NES pistols. Where it would be like, yeah, I'm a gamer and have these like NES fucking pistols and he tried to look badass. Like harder than he does now. I don't know if there's like any visual of it online, like the old tipster logo. Um but yeah. Just believe me on that one, I guess. Uh but you know, if 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 I find some old tip visuals, I will definitely like tweet it out or something. A snare flare with another two. You're cool, but not gonna lie, your mic quality's kind of giving me AIDS. Wait, is I'm on the right mic, right? Wait, let me let me listen to my stream. Oh my god, three hundo. Oh my god, wow. That's a lot more than I usually get. Thank you. Um, let me go to the channel really, really quick. To the channel really, really. Oh, it's just the st it's just my fan. I'll turn that down. My bad. I thought I had a no noise gate on, or do I? Or didn't the nose gate or the uh, noise gate not save? Oh, it is here. Yeah, I'll just turn it down. It's fuzzy. All right, I'll fix that. One sec. That should be better. Uh, but let me know if there's any more audio issues so we can get that sorted out. Uh, Claire responds, when people make hit piece after hit piece on you, it feels cathartic to get down to their level and engage with, the people, with people in the same way. But that means lowering yourself to their standards and hurting other people for AdSense revenue. It's disgusting and I feel bad for it. So... Does Clara think that she was ever making content that is on par with any of the videos critical of her on the entire internet? Because, like, going down to their level, like, your content, uh, your Keffel's drama content is not even remotely comparable in terms of quality or, uh, like, anything uh, in comparison to hers. Like, I've tried being a drama channel like them, and I felt dirty. What? Your videos were just shit. They weren't... Like, it's like, um, if you have a professional cook in the kitchen, right? And then someone like, maybe me or some of you guys in chat who don't know much about cooking comes in, and someone just tells them, make a cake, right? And all the ingredients are in front of them, but there's no recipe, the chef does a great job. The person like me, who doesn't know much about it, the cake's really shitty in comparison. And then I'm like, I, I know I know how to be a good chef. It's like me saying, I know how to be a good chef. I know what it's like to cook, make a cake. I know how to make gourmet bakery goods. Because I've been through it. And then the chef, the professional chef is like, what? You, you made like a shit pile of fucking barely edible bread that's supposed to be cake, but you failed. Like, what? We're not the same! You didn't go down to our level. You can never get to our level. You can never climb up. Me too. And how is this new, dude? How is this new? It is new. This tweet was made yesterday, these tweets. Clara, the last bit of content that she's made on YouTube has all been drama. Tipster has been a drama streamer exclusively for the past like five years and he has, um, fuck, I have to type in tipster lolly every time, man. But like, if anything, he has gotten more drama and specifically political now than ever before before he would have he would do some gaming stuff he'd do some drama stuff uh but now it's it's like now he, he's like the most drama he's ever been so how is he gonna say that like i jet i'm ashamed of it what you're ashamed of what you uploaded two days ago like it's just like, 
is, is like this guy is beyond retarded. Like the, there has to be something wrong with his brain. I'm telling you. Like we can. I, I accept that it can just be that he's a shitty person, or it can just be that he's a dumb person. And I agree that he's both shitty and dumb. But there has to be, dude. There has to be something more, because this shit is just like it. Like, what's even the point of lying here? Like, what's even the point of like it? I, I'm I'm really at a loss for words. I just don't. I'm so confused, bro. So let's check Tipster's Twitter. Let's see uh, if, if there's any new, new juice over there. Tipster Twitter. Spoke with Team YouTube. Okay, let's go to replies. Oh, there was another tipster thing I remembered that I want to show. I think Nick tweeted about it as well. I'll show it after this. What happened? Just see, God, dude, <laughs> we're so obsessed, dude. We're, I'm so obsessed. I'm showing you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, you typed that out. They typed that out and thought it was intelligent. Would they rather end their life than seek out mental treatment? What? Okay, whatever. I don't want to look at Tipster's Twitter because I, I, I was reminded of the thing I wanted to show and it got me distracted on that. He's going to stream on Twitch. Wait, what? No, he was streaming on Twitch before, bro. He was streaming on Twitch before. Tipster, my prime son, bet. Dude, is he live? Wait. Dude. awards just to see like the new game trailers and the new game announcements um but uh, it's become more of a place to shill products not even just exclusive to games and uh yeah a lot of the games that people feel should be the winners or nominees they don't even get nominated so on the surface this sounds like a good idea shut up there's nothing funny going on right now though i guess he was talking about it like 30 minutes ago like an alternate chain. Dude, there's so much tipster stuff to cover. He's literally acting like a fool. In real time, dude. How am I going to catch up? It's too much, man. He's so stupid. I'm actually falling behind on tipster shit. I never thought that would happen. Tipster's a left wing quartering. True. Tipster hasn't blocked you? Oh, he has, just not on one of my accounts. Um, oh yeah, here. So this is a little weird. Me and my boyfriend playing War Thunder together. E. Fozzy. Tipster in the chat. I guess right when the stream was about to end. Hi. Oh, no. Well, I just stopped in to say hello. Have a good stream. Damn, dude. There's a trend with the type of streams Tipster or the type of people Tipster loves online. And it's the only group of people that he's been consistent on throughout his grift. Um... Okay, let's get into Boogie. Let's get to Tipster Boogie. So, Boogie2988 and Tipster After all had beef. I think uh, it was happening during my last stream, but he wasn't done streaming, and I don't know. I covered most of it, but basically, uh, there's this thing called Sweet Baby Inc., which, dude, this website, this website looks so retarded. It's so funny to me. I feel like I'm the only one making Sweet Baby Ink pedo jokes. Maybe because it's like, it's like a political topic and people are like, oh, oh my god, I don't want to, you know, say a certain side is pedo or whatever. I'm not saying they're pedo because they add gay shit into games. I think they're pedo because they're branding. And we'll get to it once this loads. Panic Attack, since $5, 
I, mean, I can't scream, so I can't. Yeah, I know it's all caps, but I won't scream it. Tip Tippy has mastered Chris Chan information overload technique. Yes, he has. Can we get to Sweet Baby Ink? Or is it like... Am I like banned from Sweet Baby Ink? Anyway, this website looks like a pedo's like haven. Because like the branding is like a baby and a swirl. Yeah, like what the fuck? Woke! I love people just saying the, using woke as like a noun. Or, 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 I mean, woke is a noun, but, like, is woke a noun? Or would woke be, like, not a verb, but, I don't fucking know. I don't know, dude. I haven't, I, I, I'm a full-time YouTuber, dude. I shouldn't know any of this shit. Fucking phonics, fuck that shit. Um... Yeah, anyway, Sweet Baby Inc., they basically uh, put gay shit in games to, uh, for fun, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They're a company that game companies hire to help add representation in their games, and they've done stuff like add, help add the death mission in, uh, in Spider-Man 2, help add some pride flags here and there. Really not that big of a deal, honestly. It's just, they just like, uh, they just like putting rainbows everywhere. I don't fucking know. But, um, there, there's an issue with them that's been going on where their employees have been getting, like, really fucking, like, hyena mode. Like, fucking going, like, full-on, like, gorilla ape mode on, um, on people who are saying, making lists saying, hey... These are the lists of Sweet Baby Game Inc. games. If you don't want woke, don't play. And they got mad. And they were like, ban report. And they were like harassing the guy who made it or something. So I don't know, that shit's cringe. And uh, Boogie made a video about it. And then Tipster was like, fuck you, Boogie. And now they're going back and forth. This is such a bad explanation, bro. <laughs> I need, I need to show the tweets because there were tweets of like Boogie and Tipster going at it. So we actually have to go to the Tipster Twitter again. Yeah, I, I, I just realized like how far behind I am in this, this in how much has transpired with Tipster. Um, yes, show the tweets. Yeah, because I'm jumping right into the Boogie response video to Tipster, but I realized... There's just a lot more leading up than I thought. My bad. But we'll, we'll, we'll go to tip, Tippy Land right now. Oh no, this video. Oh no. That's bad. Okay, so. I think Tipster hopped on this because Boogie was getting like fucking completely destroyed for the stupid tweet that I think is dumb too because it like just doesn't make sense. So he's saying this in relation to Sweet Baby Inc. Because this is like to promote his video. Like he makes a tweet, then he's like, watch this on my channel for a more nuanced take on this tweet. Um. He's like, hot take, video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures about why being a white man is so is bad. There's no game that lectures you about, like, if you're white, you're bad. Like, you pick the white character option, they're like, fuck you. I don't think that ever happens, but... Uh, everybody was trashing him on it, you know, Tipster hopped in. I'd be interested in knowing which video games lecture players on being a bad white man. Uh, and, and, you know, we have other people hopping in, like, Clara made a, a parody tweet about it, and of course, Tipster retweeted it, uh, Brianna Wu's talking about it, uh, you know, a bunch of, I think a bunch of other people, is there any, like, relevant people reacting to it? Because those ones are kind of low, like, low on the likes. Any, like, 
cool people owning Boogie. Who remembers this little big planet level? <laughs> White people bad kill them. <laughs> Yo! That's so good. When I'm playing Security Breach and Freddy tells me I have to eliminate the white race. Me when I'm playing Ace Attorney and Phoenix Wright and says all white people belong in jail. See, this is like, this is funny shit. This is the type of shit Tipster should tweet. But no, Tipster has no entertainment bone in his body. So of course he like... Oh my god, we have to go all the way back. Of course he engaged in this, like, in the most, like, straight way he could. Um. So Boogie's complaining about the hate he's getting, and then uh, he responds to someone saying, uh, oh, someone said, can you name five games, uh, you know, that support your tweet of saying white man's bad? <laughs> Boogie responds, even if I can, he should have, Boogie should have responded with one, with the Little Big Planet video that he got quote tweeted with. And be like, see, look. He should have done that. Even if I can't, it doesn't change the fact that video games should be fun and not lectures. And uh, Tipster's like, so you make a claim that video games shame white men for being white. And when you're asked to give an example, you can't mention a single one. It's almost like you're talking out of your ass, Boogie. With this serious ass profile pic. You're talking out of your ass, Boogie. Okay. Uh, go back to tip. Back to the tip. Yo, LZZ's Shannon with the two. Keep it up with the good content, man. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. Alrighty. So we have the retweet of Keffels, of course. So, um. Oh, shit. Wait, did this tweet get deleted? Because. I was just trying to go through the tweets to get to this one, but apparently this tweet is in response to this. Anyway, the tipster sees uh, Boogie making that dumb tweet where it's like, uh, I'm tired of video games saying white man's bad or whatever. Right? And he also watched the, the Boogie video about Sweet Baby Inc. I guess we could check it out if you guys really want to, but it's basically Boogie just saying... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want woke in my video games. I'm not buying games with Sweet Baby Inc. And then explaining, like, how their sh employees and all that are shitty behind the scenes and, like, giving real reasons, uh, behind, like, not wanting to support this company beyond, uh, I don't like rainbow flags or whatever, which Boogie has never said that, um, you know, I think he explicitly said in the video that he is for that stuff, but just not in the way that Baby Ink is doing it. Anyway, I'm really paraphrasing his video. You can go watch it if you want to. But to get to the tipster part, let's skip right to tipster's response, which is Boogie2988 becoming a, the quartering ripoff. Wasn't on my 2024 bingo card, but it should have been. He's lost a lot of relevancy in recent years. Uh, at least he... Wait... B Tipster has lost, or Boogie has lost a lot of relevancy. Boogie 2988. Oh, look, the first result is, is his channel. Tipster. Oh. Uh, Five dollars from Taco Man. I'm glad Tipster... <laughs> Is in a much better headspace from the commentary community. I'm sure getting called out for something every week is what he wanted. Yeah. Like, there's no... Like, I do not believe him when he says, like... Oh, I'm the best I've been in, in years. You know, maybe at the beginning. Because, like, maybe he had, like, a lot of... Built-up anxiety and pressure from us. That he self-imposed on himself. 
And then that kind of like went away when like we were just like, I don't care about you, tipster. Um, but definitely not now. What the fuck? He's literally getting called like a lollicon, and he's because he's def he defended Vosh's CP, and now he's getting in this, and now he has like he's not even in search results anymore. I don't know. I don't know how he's doing the best he ever has in years, but whatever. Um. Uh, and this bank account is looking rather empty these days. And the lover, lovable Mr. Rogers character of the internet wasn't working anymore because people got a chance to see behind the curtain and get a good look at what the real Boogie2988 looks like. And surprise, surprise, they didn't like it. This can also apply to Tipster. This entire paragraph can apply to Tipster. Not to mention the fact that the, that the anti-woke grift is extremely profitable. Is it though? Is it really that profitable? Um, well, is Boogie's videos on on Sweet Baby Ink really doing better than other videos? Are like Quartering's videos on Sweet Baby Ink doing better than? Well, Quartering everything Quartering is anti woke, so never mind. But like, it seems like Boogie's doing better on like these vlogs uh, and stuff like that. Like, rather than this, like, the two videos about it are, like, some of the least performing videos on his channel in the last three weeks, so, I mean, I don't know, I don't see it, a, it's definitely, like, an avenue you can go down, uh, for, like, some, you know, loyal, uh, consistent viewership, uh, by, you know, appealing to that demographic, but I don't know if it's really, like, a cash cow in the sense that, if you're not typically doing that stuff already on your channel and you just instantly go like full quartering mode from like having a relatively normal channel before, I don't really think it's gonna do well for your channel. I mean, Tipster literally did that, but in the opposite political correction direction and he's not in search results anymore. Uh, $2 from VW, take my money, gladly. Thank you so much. Two lockouts mooing at each other. So true. So fucking true. I can't wait to see the Boogie video. I haven't seen it yet. Dude, a Boogie2988 video on Tipster. Everybody's bullying Tipster. YouTube is bullying Tipster. Boogie's bullying Tipster. Dojangles on Twitter. Constant Tipster bullying. Nicholas Diorio, constant Tipster bullying. Even uh, Wavy Web Surf made a tweet bullying Tipster today. Dude, everybody is bullying the tip. Uh, I can imagine seeing folks like the quartering and Melanie Mac raking mountains of cash on the grift. Uh, looks rather appealing to a has-been with a career on life support. At least he's in the search result. This is so much funnier now that he's not search results. Oh my god. I mean, Boogie's not doing great in his career, obviously. But, like, the fact that tips are saying this is like, really, dude? Uh... Who's, uh, he probably thought about himself and then, like, wrote this out. Like, that's how he was able to get all this out about Boogie. Whose only current claim to fame is being the co-host of a podcast hosted by Keemstar, where you were literally there for the purpose of being mocked by everyone on the internet for being a lol cow. Dude, I can't... I can't tell you how many streams Tipster had where... He, Keemstar would come and chat, he would beg Keemstar to come in, and then Keemstar would either just chat to his chat, like it's, he would chat to Tipster's chat like it's his own, and ignore Tipster, as if he was like a sidekick in his own show, or he would literally like, just make Tipster say funny shit. Sometimes there was some normal talk in there, but I mean, Keemstar, you know, Lolcow's different, obviously, but like, people have made fun of people have made fun of Tipster on his own live streams, particularly Keemstar. I mean, we saw that. I think in last stream, uh, I reacted with Toastify, like to us bullying Tipster or or just laughing, not really bullying Tipster, but laughing at the alt accounts that he had, and he was really upset about it in the call. But we didn't know us because we were too busy laughing, and he was giving us confirmation that it's okay but like you could tell if you were listening that he was uh he was upset 
but he just let us run all over him, dude. In a way that is probably just as bad as anything that's happened with Lockout and Boogie. But again, maybe I'm like giving Boogie too much benefit of the doubt through my obvious desire to make Tipster look the worst way possible in every scenario. Although he does it, he does do it himself to himself. But yeah, if it's if it's negative towards Tipster, I'm more inclined to believe that train of thought. But hey, anything for a quick quick buck and a taste of clout, a eh, boogie? Really, dude? There's no way, dude. I, I swear, there's no way Tipster actually thinks that Boogie making a video on Sweet Baby Ink is like a huge cash cow for him. Now, obviously, he could say to this commentary like. Hindsight's 2020, and the video's out and didn't do well, but it could have done well. No, like, really? Like, you really think Boogie was like, yeah, this is the one that's gonna ma make me big again. This is gonna be the 2 million sub, a uh, 2 million view video on Sweet Baby Inc. What? Even if it means sliding in with some of the worst people on the internet. And it, it the, what, sliding in with the worst people on the internet? He was, in his video, he was just talking about what everybody else talked about with Sweet Baby Inc., which is not liking that the employees are, like, harassing and going after and trying to remove uh, this list of games they worked on uh, that was branded for them to, like, avoid Sweet Baby Inc. games. That's, like just calling out bad, unprofessional behavior that's not siding with the worst people on the internet. And the, why would the worst people on the internet be creating a list to make sure gamers know if their game had diversity, like, consulting done on it? Like, how does that make you the worst person on the internet? Obviously, it's just being hyperbolic, but it's not even close. It's not even close. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'd take that over, you know, psychos who dox people, swat people, uh, say Hail Hitler every day, you know? I don't know. Rape? <laughs> Pedos? I don't know. Um... Glad to know. Wait, he's saying they're the worst people on the internet, but he defended Vosh. Wait, how is the Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, group, like, don't play these games, group, Steam group, curator, creator, worse than Vosh's horse lolly CP that you defended? Hmm. Glad to know that all kinds of words and encur encouraging messages I've tried to deliver, you've tried to deliver in your videos in the past, didn't mean shit, and that it was all just a facade. Dude, who? This is so performative. There is no way nobody is coming to the conclusion right now on March eighteenth or or March in general, twenty twenty four. Nobody is coming to the realization that, oh my god, Boogie's not who he said he was. Boogie's kind of, wow, oh my god, I thought he was like this nice, humble, kind guy, and he's a little bit of an asshole and has like a lot of bad qualities. Oh my god, I, I was so tricked. I thought he was this wholesome, lovable figure on YouTube. It is in 2016, dude. Like, what? Like, or 2019 or 2020, more so. Like, everyone knows about Boogie. He's been talked about to death. There's a documentary about how shitty his life is and how shitty of a person he is with, like, 5 million views on YouTube. Everybody, and nobody, like, what? Like, you're really trying to tweet out and act as if this is when you figured out that he wasn't always the good guy of the internet? Like, it's so performative. Nobody believes you. Well, what? Wow. Uh, I loved Boogie, but as soon as he fucking called Sweet Baby Inc. Gamergate 2 and 
and said that he doesn't like people being bullied for making Steam groups. Wow, he really... Wow, I hope for your sake that the grift is worth it, Boogie. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, so Boogie decide, uh, and, and then Tipster made a video on it, you know, it's pretty much just, you know how Tipster coverage goes. It's, lo it's long, explaining the most basic shit, and then he explains his opinion a million times over in the most mundane way possible. I, I guess we could click around show you what it's like but i mean we all know we all know how tipster is so we gotta look up tipster lolly and go to yes he is become a grifter here with the infamous fucking pronouns meme fucking pronouns somebody got so ass mad about a game just having a pronoun selection option okay it's so yeah he's just talking about like other scenarios to try and compare it to this even though I, I, so what he's talking about is like the, um, the sweet baby, no, not sweet baby, the heel versus baby face guy. A lot of baby names for some reason. Heel versus baby face guy, who, and he's the guy who's like, fucking pronouns with uh, Starfield. Let me see if I can get it up. Uh, Starfield pronouns. Hey, do you know Easy. why I We're so fucking boring. So yeah, he like melted down because there was like a pronoun option in Starfield, like psycho shit. How is that comparable to Boogie just being like, let me, let me actually get to the Boogie video. Let me get to the Boogie. Just so you guys 100% know what I'm talking about. Well, gamers. Like, well, where's Boogie's take? After getting low, I want to support the games that they've worked on. I mean, I guess in Brian's arc. Guys, am I taking crazy pills? Okay. Boogie is cut. What the fuck? This is lockout on lockout. I'm trying to. Ma I'm trying to make tips. I'm trying to make tipster look bad. You're not making it easy, Boogie. What the fuck? It's the gamers who don't want to buy games that have been worked on by this company. So there's your smoking gun. The Department of Homeland Security funding an organization that just fired the warning shot. The Gamergate 2 is coming, and we need to make sure that every gamer knows they have to buy the games worked on by Sweet Baby Incorporated, or else they're the bad guys. Am I taking crazy- I don't know. I don't fucking know what's going on. Anyway, Tipster responded. Probably some of it's good, some of it's bad. I don't know, it has a bunch of dislikes. I'm leaving dislike too. I don't even know what he said, but it's probably bad. Uh, and now Boogie has made a Tipster video. And actually has majority likes. So let's see what Boogie says, and hopefully he can explain this all in a better way that I, than I have so far. Cats of Flocken sends $5 in Tipster's defense. Maybe he thought Vosh leaked Joda, so it could have been an honest mistake to defend him. True. Thank you for the five. This Gamergate stuff started popping off. I decided to have a little fun on Twitter with uh, this tweet here. And a lot of people have asked me, do I stand by this tweet? And the answer is yes. Video games should be fun. They shouldn't be political lectures of pretty much any type. And whereas almost any sane person should agree with this tweet, a lot of people got hung up with the last couple of words. And most of the replies were just a good time, except replies from one person, and that is Tipster. And that Out of all the people that shit on him, dude, Tipster's the worst. It sucks, because I normally abide by the fat guy code where fat guys tend to leave other fat guys alone if we can. But Tipster drew first blood, and I'm going Rambo on his ass. They drew first blood, not Yo. me. Tipster saw my video talking about Sweet BB Incorporated and decided to post some clips from it, basically saying that I was now on the alt-right grift. And I wonder why someone like Tipster would think that of me. Well, it's classic projection. And if you watch this video by Turkey Tom, uh, which I'm going to highlight chunks of here, but also link it down below, you'll get an idea of the type of person that Tipster is. Specifically, Tipster is someone who tried to be a video game YouTuber and failed at that, then joined the commentary community and got kicked out of that community. So now instead he grifts the Rainbow Coalition and is also failing to do that. Now, the reason I'm making this video is to talk Damn. about this live stream where Tipster had to go live last night for 45 minutes to talk about what an anti-woke uh, grifter he thinks I've become. Spoiler alert, I'm no grifter. I just think sometimes it's right to call out bad people for doing bad things. And if I'm in the company of people like Asmon Gold, while I'm doing it, I feel pretty comfortable doing it. So I just wanted to highlight some of the things that uh, Tipster had to say in this live stream and give my opinion. So he's saying like Alan Wake 2, God of War, Ragnarok, Spider-Man 2. He's saying these games were too big to fail. But then he's talking about how like Suicide Squad was a stinker. Which I love this dude. The half bo old boogie face, the fresh boogie face. 
the even fatter version of Boogie Face. I actually, it, with I, game it more, I don't know, Tipster. What do you think Spider-Man 2, Alan stuff. Wake 2, and God of War 2 have in common? It's the number two. Those video games are sequels to very well-loved games that had very little politics in them and a shitload of fun. The industry knows that's a really good time to shove politics down your throats because you're going to buy it anyway, so it's a good time to get you to sit down and listen to a lecture. This is literally just about being treated poorly by Anidia Sarkeesian Sarke 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 at VidCon. Panelist. So he was speaking out against, like, Gamer Gators at the time, right? And now he's decided he wants to join them. I don't know. I always felt I beat Anita Sarkeesian there because I got invited back to VidCon the next year and uh, she didn't. Also, I'm dating my dream girl and Anita just celebrated her birthday party by having a fake wedding. So I Damn, dude. Now your dream girl. A little too much girl. A little bit not enough women, woman. In my opinion, not saying there's anything illegal going on. But, he's right, dude. He did own her at the end of the day. I guess, maybe. I don't know. I mean, Anissa Sarkeesian doesn't have a 5 million view Mike Klum documentary where she looks extremely retarded in it. Like, Boogie looked so dumb in that documentary because he is dumb in a lot of ways. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the 40-year-old wet, like, the 40-year-old birthday like wedding themed birthday party that's like it's kind of sad i don't know i mean she had fun i guess but i'm i'm sure she would have wished it to be a real wedding I, I feel like i'm winning and no that panel wasn't about gamergate it was about online harassment which can come from people on the right or the left or even the middle and if gamergate 2.0 comes out to being some sort of harassment campaign i will distance myself from the harassment but i'll still say the video games are supposed to be fun liking fun video games and thinking they shouldn't be taken over by identity politics isn't harassment. You have to be an extra kind of stupid to think that I'm aligning myself with terrorists just because I'm sharing that opinion. Hey guys, it's me, Francis. And you know, last time this Gamergate thing happened all those years Oh my god, Boogie re reacts to this. This is a tipster trying to... to, um... mock and own Boogie in the most stupid way possible. And, uh, and he's, like, laughing, grinning ear to ear, like, watching it, dude. I was actually gonna post a clip of that to Twitter, like, of him just, like, he's just, like, smiling ear to ear. He's, like, the only person that likes this. It, his whole chat isn't even, like, reacting to it, but Tips just, like, shitting and grin, like, yeah, I got him. I got him. You know, I'm gonna side with all the racists and the Nazis and stuff like that, because they seem to think I'm a really cool guy. Okay, I mean well, two people in the chat liked it, but... I know where to start with that, other than the fact that he genuinely thought he was doing something there. And it's really great that he he's that stupid. It is nice to see him just admitting that he thinks that if you like fun video games and you don't want to be pandered to in those games, uh, that you are a racist and a Nazi. And it's just, it's awesome to see him own that. Anybody who knows me in my audience knows that I do not overuse terms like, you know, racists and Nazis. Racists and the Nazis. And by now, you all know, oh these are just buzzwords they use when they don't. Oh my god, the clipping is so good have a valid argument against the fact that video games should be fun. These people just do not understand that video games for us is a form of escapism to escape real world politics, and we're not here to pay $70 to be lectured to. Uh, you know, when I was showing my quote tweet, right? Yeah, but does Sweet Baby Ink really lecture in the video games? I mean, it depends. I don't really know what all the changes are. The only one I'm really familiar with is like, I, I guess Spider-Man 2, because I played that one. Um... And yeah, I mean, there's a couple missions where it's like really on the nose about like certain things and certain types of people, but like there's like a gay couple mission and then there's like the deaf girlfriend mission. But those things also exist in the real world, so why can't it exist in a video game for just one mission or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem lectury to me. It isn't like treat deaf people better. I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just it's just part of the video game like an optional mission i don't know i didn't i don't think it's that big of a deal but apparently some people think it's a lecture i don't know it doesn't seem like a lecture to me but right that's because boogie couldn't handle my criticism he couldn't handle the fact that I'm right. Tipster, I block everybody on Twitter almost for no reason. People seem to like it when I do it. They wear it as like a badge of honor. Oh, look, Boogie blocked me. And also, I don't have to deal with their bullshit. But Tipster, that's not why I blocked you. I blocked you because you were a disgusting, depraved human being. It was just last month that you were defending drawn photos of child pornography. And that... Oh my god! Okay, but Snobby Lion in chat said the existence of different people in media is lecture. Yeah, I don't get that. Um, like, I, d I definitely can see how, like, you know, Sweet Baby Inc. worked on the game. 
and they probably like helped add those elements or suggest those elements to be in the game or whatever. So uh, I guess an outside force is making suggestions that ultimately change what the game would have included. It, uh, it just includes more representation, like intentionally, I guess. But wait, that's not. I, I don't see that as like a huge issue if it's not like a lecture. If it's just like, hey. You know, let's um, add a character that has a certain disability or a certain sexuality or something, uh, you know, just so that t to maybe even make the world more realistic. Like, there's a bunch of different types of people everywhere. Like, it'd be a little weird, maybe, if, if a game is like, okay, there's a whole city full of gay people and it's Gay Cork City or something like that. But if there's like, you know, uh, a cast of characters and one of them happens to be gay. I mean, sometimes there's a group of friends and one of them happens to be gay or multiple. Like people, these people exist. So why not have it in games? Like I don't, like even if it is like forced kind of like, okay, here's the quote. I have at least one gay character. Like there is probably at least one gay character in real life that would equate to being in that situation in the video game. So have the same chances of someone being gay in real life be reflected in the video game. That makes sense. I don't know. Just irks me in the worst way humanly possible. Your only online friend left is Keffels, and she threw you under the bus because you were defending child pornography. I may not be Mr. Rogers, but at least I don't have a history of both harassing online e-girls as well as online trans women. You call me a grifter because I broke my silence on this whole video game topic. You're the one who left the commentary community to go fleece the LGBTQ. You want to warn me about aligning myself with the right? Well, you know what? That's not something I plan to do. I just want to align myself with people who like video games, and there's plenty of people on the left that do that. But you're choosing to ally yourself with the left. Dude, Boogie just completely is like... Fuck you, tipster. I'm gonna make a video and just say all the, like, things you're accused of. And, you know, all of it comes from a place of truth. To an extent. It, you know, I mean, some of those statements were pretty, a little bit hyperbolic. Um, but it does come, a play, come from a place of tipster doing actions that are borderline, like, har harassy. Uh, and, like, weird and, like, creepy and just... It makes sense why he's saying this, but the fact that, like, uh, Boogie is just saying it and not even, like, showing the proof, he's just like, fuck it, dude, I'm just gonna let my whole audience know, TLDR, all the horrible shit about you, um, but I don't even care enough to, like, give the full fucking context or whatever, because it would take forever, but I just think it's so funny how he's like, there's this guy, Tipster, it, he comes onto his channel, right? And he's like, hey, everybody, there's this guy, Tipster. He's the only guy I had an issue with who responded to my tweet that went negatively viral. Uh, he fucking defends CP. He uh, harasses women. And he's a fucking loser. And then just, like, leaves. It's fucking awesome, dude. Boogie W. And only the left, excluding anybody that happens to be in the middle or the right, and that's a really bad plan for you. The reason you're failing at everything you're trying to do right now is because you're trying to appeal to the left, but you're such a vile, disgusting person that even they don't want to have anything to do with you. Regurgitating the left's talking points can only get you so far, and when somebody on the left finds out that you harass women or defend child porn, they don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm not here to talk about the left or the right or anything in the middle. I'm just talking about video games and people being informed whether or not a certain company worked on it so they can choose whether or not to spend their hard-earned money on that. And why is that difficult for you to understand? Because tips are it's exactly people like you that I'm trying to avoid when it comes to video games. People who preach tolerance in one hand and attack everyone they can on the other people defending child pornography people harassing women you are the exact kind of person i play video games to get the hell away from and i don't want your politics in my video games and that should be okay i think i'm not trying to appeal to the right or nazis or any of that shit i'm just damn i mean i kind of get what uh what boogie's saying in the sense that like I, I think there's like a lot of well i mean obviously like the sweet baby ink employees are like harassing people and uh, I think there's like a lot more with like the CEO in particular and other stuff, but I haven't looked fully into it. Um, but he, he's saying like, oh, they preach like equality and be nice to everyone, but they're like forcing people to do what they're bidding behind the scenes and are like harassing people and it, uh, using the same tactics that they claim to fight against in the video games with the representation, you know? I get that criticism for sure. Um, And, but and like correlating it to tipster is just so funny like you're you're a grifter just like they are 
I'm calling Sweet Baby Ink out because they're grifting. And you're grifting too. Fucking awesome, dude. Speaking what I believe to be true, the video game should be fun. And I, I think it's so sad and sick that you can't see that. I don't have problems with anybody on the left or the right as long as they're not extremists. And if you're an extremist, you can go fuck yourself. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to appeal to anybody other than the fact that some people like video games and some people want them to remain fun and some people don't want motherfuckers fucking. Tipster's gonna listen to that and be like, there is no extreme left. With that. And if you're an extremist, go fuck yourself. And if you think there's no extreme left, then you might be extreme left. So, and if you're not an extremist, well, you can come join that. And let's play some video games together. Helldivers 2. Because I, I don't think extremists admit that they're, they're extreming. That they're going extremo mode. Uh, Dojangles, one of the OG tipster bullies. $10. Victory lap is never ending. Thank you so much for the $10. Yeah. Dude, it's too many victory laps. I'm getting dizzy, dude. There's so there's so much tipster bully material and I and I don't think I, I think I was live like three days ago four days ago And it's already like a mountain of shit. You guys are going harder on him than I have I guess collectively now like I feel like I don't even need a tipster bully everyone's bullying tipster YouTube's bullying tipster by taking him out of the search results boogie's bullying tipster everybody's bullying tipster. It's awesome. It's great. It's very it brings us together under one under one roof but yeah he can't stop he can't stop that's the main thing right is that like if tipster just stopped being retarded obviously we would meme him for a long time but no one would be actively tweeting about every little move he's making as much as they are now but it's because every movie he's making is like batshit retarded it's like Dude, it's not that we want to bully Tipster. We do want to bully Tipster, but we have to bully Tipster, dude. Because if we let him, dude, because it's it all adds up. All the stupidity adds up, dude. And he can't miss a drop of it. And he is fucking supplying us with endless milk to milk the tip. Stir. Can't stop the tip from getting bullied. True, true. Good. And the new Final Fantasy has been really great so far. So Tipster, now I'm done with you, and I'm going to go back to blocking you because I don't want you accidentally retweeting Wally porn onto my timeline. <laughs> Yo! True, dude! Wait! So <laughs> dude! You know he's looking at that shit on Twitter and, and, and hoping he doesn't accidentally press retweet. Dude, that, oh my god. I want to listen to that again. You can come join that, and let's play some video games together. Helldivers 2 is pretty good, and the new Final Fantasy has been really great so far. So Tipster, now I'm done with you, and I'm going to go back to blocking you because I don't want you accidentally retweeting Wally porn onto my timeline. <laughs> You've done that. You've done that, and I don't want to see it. I rarely choose to make videos like this. I rarely choose to respond, and when I do, I always try to keep some decorum, but you deserve none of it. You are down to the last- Dude, he literally just goes to his audience. He's like, this guy Tipster, he retweets CP on his profile, so I'm blocking him shred of internet dignity that you had left and that person's name was Keffels and even she can't stand you anymore. I'm done with you too. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much and I will speak with you again. Dude, Keffels has to respond to that last part or else it's true, dude. If Keffels isn't like, no, you're wrong, Boogie. I do respect Tipster. If she just ignores that, confirm she doesn't give a fuck, bro. Confirm. Okay, so Tipster was live. I... It, is he gonna respond to um to the boogie shit or has he? Oh my god, he's playing a new game. Oh my god. Why would you even turn on your camera, dude? Like I Why would you even turn on your camera if you look like that? Like that haircut is not good. Did he try to get like a fade? Like the top of his head has more hair than the side. Is he like trying to look good? Because it's not working close enough. Okay. What? Why would you turn on the camera? There we go. It's not that's open, but before we head that way, I'm gonna. Oh, he sounds like he wants to kill himself. I don't blame him, bro. Actually, caused a nervous. Uh, that time. Yeah, when does he when talk I about boogie? Eyes gaslighting and disrespect that video games. Is that crazy to you? Video games and just. Where's the boogie? Where's oh, the boogie good. response? Five thousand. This times dog go to that voluntarily on my channel talk forward uh considering everything you post oh he does talk about this they asked me to all for it so
have like this. He talks on, about so being like shadow banned, quote unquote. Sure, mods have access to those tools as well. So if mods. you ever need to use those tools, uh, feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. Uh, okay, so we got some stuff to get into. Feel so we're gonna free go ahead to and ban everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's do that. Here we go. Okay, so what should we talk about first today? Uh, well, I guess we could talk about the, the uh, elephant in the room. Uh, hold on a second. You, the elephant in the room, tipster, fat ass. Okay, Bro, why does he turn his camera on? Okay, uh, it's on phone currently. Uh, he should like move his his webcam to be behind the the chair so we can look at all the gaming shit. Instead. I'm limited. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's some moderation tools that are available on phone, but uh, if you're move your back, fat you ass out of the way, uh, I want to see Galaga better. better. No, 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 biggie. Uh, okay, here we go. So I guess we'll talk about the elephant in the room to start the stream already. So as some of you guys may know, uh, if you already follow me on Twitter, uh, definitely follow me on Twitter if you don't already, uh, at just so tippy. Uh, you might already be aware of this particular situation, but I had multiple people uh, at me on Twitter basically telling me that they weren't able to find my channel. Apparently some people even thought that I had deleted uh, my channel, uh, which obviously is not the case. If you click a direct link to my channel, it's still there. Um, but uh, people were having trouble accessing my channel on YouTube. And uh, so basically we have like this person here. Hey, tipster, I think your channel is shadow banned because it's not showing up in search, even if you filter as channel, might want to look into this. Uh, so I decided to check it out. I have like another alt account that I use specifically for search result testing and stuff like that. And so I kind of logged into that account and I did a quick search for my channel. Sure enough, my channel didn't come up. And when I filtered it specifically to channel searches, uh, my channel didn't come up either. Uh, so it does look like there's some kind of suppression uh, going on. Now I have my theories about what's going on here. Oh my God. So this is post the conversation he had with the employee. So this is after, and he's still saying like, I think there's some suppression going on. I have some theories The YouTube support literally told you. They promote videos or they promote stuff based on the search query that is put in. The search query of Tipster, majority of people who type that in click on videos exposing Tipster, not actual Tipster videos. And that has happened so much that the algorithm is trained to only show videos that people are likely to click on, which apparently was never yours. And since people are making videos on you that people do want to click, Tipster isn't just like, okay, well, there's nothing else, so I'm going to show you the Tipster channel. It's just, there, there is Tipster content that people want to watch, it's just not you. <laughs> Literally, they said that. And he'll get to that. He'll show that. Um, but uh, in any case, uh, if you're noticing that you're having a hard time finding my channel, uh, you're not the only one. This is an issue. And also, also, here's an example in the opposite direction to give you guys a little bit of uh, insight, right? Mudahar. His channel is called Some Ordinary Gamers, right? But a lot of people call him Mudahar. Uh, so if you just type in Muda or Mudahar, the first thing is Some Ordinary Gamers because majority of people who type in Muda are clicking on Some Ordinary Gamers. And I assumed it came up in the first place because he probably has like some channel tags uh, for Muda. Because you can... Just like you can tag videos, you can also tag your channel with certain keywords. So, like, he probably has Muda as a keyword. So, if people type in Muda, his channel could come up. And then when it did, so many people clicked on it that now, if you type in Muda, it will immediately come up. So, that's an example of it working in the opposite direction. Because somewhere near gamers, there's, like, in his bio and stuff, it doesn't say the word Muda anywhere. Like, Muda's not in the channel name or anything like that. Uh, and I'm sure there's channels like straight up called Muda, but they won't come up because most people try to search somewhere in your gamers. They're not looking for this Muda or that Muda or that Muda, you know? But uh, le let's see Tipster's explanation, even though the, uh, the YouTube employee already told him this. Uh, that's been going on uh, for a while. Now, I did tweet about this. I said I've had several people inform me of this in the past 24 hours. I checked and confirmed that my channel is not showing up in search. I have contacted team YouTube for assistance. Boblax check DM uh, on Twitter. Well, I guess I'll check Twitter and Discord, but I'm going to block it out for a sec. Do, 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 do. I have to log back into my... Oh, no. Discord? Okay. All right. I'm just going to play it, dude. I don't even care if it's risky. Wait, is there a way I can just, like... Copy link and open it here. Oh, it just okay. It's a, it's a damn no. Okay, can this shut up, dude? It's not working properly. <laughs> Wait, we need to show it for real this time. Can it play? Hello. Okay. 
<laughs> Dude, he takes up the whole ring! It's time! He's so fat, bro. Oh, shit. You should be embarrassed. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Yo, is that like a custom intro for your next tipster stream? That's fucking awesome. Ultimate tipster review. Ultimate tipster lolly review. What's that in the fucking ring? It's obese! Do 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 do. The big blubber giant. Dude, there was a video that, um, that Meat Canyon made. Dude, I swear he's referencing Tipster in it. Even Meat Canyon made a Tipster video. Did you guys see this? This new video on Tipster that Meat Canyon made? Fort Floyd? Oh, oh, yep, you're banned. Who said Snack Harlow? Get that guy out of here! Ace Ventura, okay, banned. <laughs> Metallica, oh, bro, bro. This is literally Tipster if he got enough viewers. If he didn't ban all the chat, dude. <laughs> What's wrong, Timmy? What's wrong? No, it's too heavy, Mom. It's too heavy. You okay, so here, just hold on. I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Just hold on. Dude, me every time I watch Tipster. Government officials have not released a statement as to why this Tipster when he has three Jack in the Box meals instead of two. My monitor just fell through the floor watching this guy? Okay, buddy. Banned! Tadaima, Tokyo ga nanakaro genjo ni yori. Tiki ni nomikomareta to you news ga haite ikimashita. You're getting too big. If you grow anymore, you will implode the earth and destroy humanity as we know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Banned. Literally tipster, dude. Since now, I got to be honest with you guys. When I reached out to Team YouTube, I had my doubts that they were going to be able to do anything. I have seen this issue occur for other creators in the past. And dude, I can't wait to hear what Kopi actually comes up with. Because it, it like the YouTube employee literally told him what the issue was. And it, it's like verifiable. Like I already showed you the inverse effect with Mudahar. Like if you know anything about like search algorithms or anyway, anything. This guy works in IT. He works in IT. Apparently, probably not the sector that handles algorithms because he doesn't know jack i just don't i don't get it but yeah Let, let's see what his cope is youtube does fuck all for it so even though i was like you know what i'll go ahead and reach out to team youtube see if they can do anything i pretty much went into it expecting nothing to get done and i was pretty much right about that uh so i said uh in an update tweet just spoke to team youtube and as expected not much they can do rip and i uh, showed my chat logs uh with youtube i'll just go ahead and i'll go through them uh we'll skim through them we won't read everything basically but pretty much i contacted them and i told them hey. yeah i, I want to know what his theory is like are we going to get another like uh, H3 asked Susan to remove the Gokunaru video type theory going on with Tipster. Ooh, Bo Blacks has connections at YouTube and told them to ban my channel. Like, are we gonna get some of that shit? Hey, you know, people in my audience have informed me that, uh, you know, my channel's not showing up in search as of yesterday. Uh, I tested it with an alt account, confirmed that. Uh, even when you filter specifically for channel-specific search, uh, you know, they're not able to find me. They asked me to attach some screenshots of my search results, and they said they would look into it. And uh, sure enough, they basically uh, shared some details with me. That was the typical copy and paste nonsense. It's just like, hey, this is how- How is it copy paste? I've never gone in this response because, I, I, I mean, I've never asked a question, I think, in this vicinity. And it is copy paste because- that's their job. They do have like pre-written responses. Like this isn't the first time this has been asked by somebody. Like they have pre-written responses for general categories of questions. Like, like is Tipster dumb? Does he not, is he not an adult? Does he not know like how customer service works or like, I'm sure he's had to return his pants for it ripping. Like, a bunch of times. I mean, it's confirmed that Tipster has ripped his pants. Right? It's been, it's been confirmed that Tipster's ripped his pants, so he had to have returned it and know how customer support works. Let me see. I think Doe Jangles has, has it on her Twitter. Somebody tweeted it. 
Fuck, I don't know where it is, but he basically like went into DMs and said he ripped his pants. How our search works. Uh, this is how you can, you know, uh, improve your results in the algorithm, oh, stuff tweet? like that. Oh, it is Trans Tipster's tweet. Now I remember. Yes, yes. Trans Tipster. I sat down in my office chair this morning and my pants split in, in the ass. I had to rush home and change. LOL! <laughs> okay. Why, dude? Also, I saw, um... Nick's tweet. I have the perfect response. And I pretty much like responded with, uh, but this doesn't make sense. Why would my channel show up in search one day, but not show up in search the next day? Uh, and they pretty much responded with, I truly uh, appreciate your persistence. Uh, we've uh, carefully examined your case and offered the best possible solution. And uh, it was just more. Bro, has he still not read all of this above? They literally explained it above. Or copy and paste nonsense. So essentially, YouTube said they can't do anything about it, which I'll be honest, um, I, I went into it expecting that. Because as I mentioned before, I've seen this sort of thing happen to other content creators in the past. And uh, YouTube really doesn't do a whole lot about it. They gave you an explanation. What? You, do you expect them to, like, change their algorithm? How could, like, a customer support... What, what is the customer support guy going to, like, put a message up, like, hopefully going up to uh, the top of YouTube being like, hey, like, going straight to the devs of the fucking algorithm and they're like, hey, can you manually insert and make sure that Tipster Live shows up at the top search result of typing in tipster every single time. Can you like alter the algorithm or the specific, like what, what did he expect? Hazel can't do shit. They're a customer service. They can just tell you and clarify to you why certain things are happening. That's more what creator support is for. In my opinion, it's for finding out why things happen or if it happened in error, that would happen while explaining why, like something happens you don't know why, you ask them why, they'll either give you an answer or they'll say it's an error and fix it. You asked why, they gave you an answer, they did their job as far as I'm concerned. Now, like, uh, YouTube support, it's not the best, obviously. Um, it could be better in a lot of ways, but here I feel like that's all they could do, just give the answer as to why, because they're not going to fucking alter, like, put in, like, a direct exception for tipster into the algorithm that's like you know when uh there was that clip that leaked like like five or six years ago uh, i think nerd city talked about it in a video where susan wojicki was like oh we can help you manually in the algorithm like we, we can help your channel we can boost you in the algorithm or whatever that's the type of favoritism that they would have to do to tipster in order to get him consistently on search results as of now with how many people are watching uh, videos about tipster instead of videos from tipster you'd literally have to just manually put something in as like a direct favor from like the ceo or something about it and so it just kind of is what it is so the main reason i wanted to do this as a segment is just to kind of keep you guys posted on you know how you can keep up with my content i'm going to continue posting segments from my streams onto my youtube channel so if you happen to be subscribed to my youtube channel my understanding is people who are subs to my channel they're still getting you know my content and their notifications and their sub boxes so you should be fine if you're a subscriber i'm going to continue posting content there yeah uh, but if you want to ensure that you can get access to the content that you guys are subscribed for uh i'd say the best way to do that is to uh join my discord uh discord server um the links are in the description down below if you're watching Hell no, dude. I, dude. Don't go in the not safe for work chat. Watching this on YouTube. On that Discord server. And then obviously if you're watching on Twitch, there's ways you can access uh, that link uh, through here as well. Uh, so uh, there, that's the best way to keep up with my stuff. I have my server set up to notify people in the Discord server, you know, whenever something new goes out. So if you want to keep up to date with the content, uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Even if you're not a big Discord user, at the very least, you can use it as a way to get notified. Yeah, you're not a big Discord user. I'm like Tipster. Tipster loves that shit. Uh, of new content that's coming out. And then also... He's on that... That shit's... On all the when time, it comes to bro. streams, um, 
Thank you. Rapid underscore 88 joined the Kuma Nation. Thank you very much for that sub. I do appreciate it. But uh, if you want to keep up to date with my streams, uh... Dude, he's mad. He's mad. He knows who Matt Pitt is. He's been on his show. He's mad. Your best place to do that uh, oh. would be here uh, on Twitch. Be sure to give me a follow on Twitch, and uh, I will be sure to... Uh, he's like, he's like... You'll get the notifications here. Typing to his mod right now. Bam, that okay. guy. Uh, but in any case, uh, thank you again uh, so much uh, for all the support and everything. It is definitely uh, appreciated. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> Appreciate it. Dude, he's like... He's I think scuffing. that's the best way that you can keep up to date on all of my content moving forward. Uh, thank you so much, Matt Pitt. Considering everything that's going on. So, uh, But uh, it is what it is. These are the downsides of being a content creator uh, that nobody really tells you about. It sucks, but it just kind of is what it is. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to work around it, and uh, everything's going to be fine for the most part. But uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you all here, and uh, thank you for the continued support. Wait, he said he had a theory on why this is happening. What's his theory? Content. It is appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Um, I guess he anyway. saw that Matt Pitt was in there, so he wanted to move on because he knew he was going to get clipped. Even though, I mean, he should know by now that we're all going to watch his fucking streams. Especially after the Voss anyway. shit. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's kind of like what's going on with that. It's a bummer, but it's really not that big of a deal. I've been doing more of my streams over here on Twitch anyway, so it's just one of those things that it is what it is. Can you load the full VOD uh, from Twitch onto YouTube for archiving? If I remember, it saves Twitch streams uh, for three days. Um... I forget how long Twitch VODs get saved, um, but uh, maybe I'll create like an alternate channel specifically for that purpose. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not really sure. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Uh, but yeah, that's not a bad idea, I guess. I guess it's more than just the tip. Oh my God, true. Okay, well, I got a, a few other topics that I want to talk about with you guys, so we're going to get into those. Boring! I want to see him like... found a cherry blossom one and just had to get one. Nice. I want to see him cope at Zelda, bro. Look, it's tips are in the game. Yo, homeboy's here. Yeah, your homeboy. Your fellow obese. Tipster played this as a kid. He's like, when I grow up, I want to be as obese to you. and as you dumb as this again. rock person. Eat the delicious uh, rocks from Dodongo's cavern. He literally eats rocks. Experts. You probably eat rocks too. And you eat Jack in the Box adventure. meals uh, until you burst. It's an incredible story. I the can't believe. Uh, that the Dodongo this is uh, in such great Tipster's numbers. child inspiration right and here. That big rock Dumb as rocks, eats rocks. All this trouble must have been caused by Back. that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual yeah, he's, stone. Only I don't know why he's so bald. And he's not even bald in the right way. He has like too much hair to be cool bald. For us. Like, it'd be better if he was Kid, I like straight him. up football. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Dude, it's the worst no, fate I've ever seen. He intentionally got it like this and then decided to turn on his camera on stream to be publicly broadcasted to any amount of people. Why are we talking about titties in chat? I mean, titties are based, but uh, why are we talking about titties in chat? Because you have big titties. Why are we talking about titties? Waiting. Titties be, do be so based. Dude, he's like waiting for a response. He's literally waiting for his chat. Dude, this chat's not explaining. He's just saying it's based without a reason. He's waiting for the explanation. Chat, please say something that I can respond to. Please. Tell you later, check signal. Okay. Oh, uh, they finally you said something. The, the Goron's ruby. This is the spiritual They finally said fire, something that he could respond uh, to. The Gorons. Nice. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone talk about the titties? Uh, any couples Yo, DMs? Yo, dinner looks delicious as hell. Not gonna lie. Of course you're gonna say that, bro. Dude, that he's literally crazy. getting people to send him food pics in Discord. Because he's that fucking starving all the time. Holy shit. Lose weight. Why? This is... What? Is, is he trying to entertain? Hello, I'm here, I'm watching. We're all watching with bated breath. All right. Okay. Sworn brothers? Oh, just like how you were a brother to me, dude? So Boblax is like a brother to me. Boblax was like a brother to me. Brother, you'll keep brushing up your skills uh, as you try. King Dodongo, don't trust him. He's she gonna backstab you for Clara. Mountain, she will power you. He's gonna. Ba she's gonna. He's gonna backstab you for the Great Fairy. Off our brother. You did great. Oh, finally oh, some positive reinforcement. Just show mama. For, for did tipster. you get that job you applied for? What? 
Congratulations. Dude, he has so little people in chat that he now knows like their daily life. He now knows like everything that's happening with his Congratulations. chat. Congratulations. Very happy for you. Nice big gore on hug. Dude, his all of his viewers are literally like lobotomized. They're all people who've had like brain surgery done on them and it's gone wrong. Oh, wrong button. Ooh, I like big go on hug. I like go on hug. I like tip store. I watch tip store. So this one, you have to time it just right. Why does it look like there's a cock coming out of like the and back I didn't of his? Time it just right. <laughs> Bro. Annoying. This is boring. Oh, fuck. I was looking at my mouse in the preview and I thought it was in the preview and I was trying to shrink it back. What the hell? I don't think... Don't you do something else? There we go. I don't know. All for that. Okay, I can't comment on this. It's just too boring, man. What else is going on with Tipster? Uh, I think that is actually it for the tip catch up. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I, fe I feel like a lot of people are streaming about tip right now. Nowhere. And he didn't even ask for the mod. I guess. Bro, not only am I trying to watch Bro, this boring ass tipster well, stream, chat, but 200 people, 200 people in Chris's is watching. More people so are watching you, tipster. UTR! No. UTR! UTR! Tipster turned into a lol cow very fast. Yeah, six months is like really accelerated. Usually it takes Thank years. You. Dude, there's fucking wait, and people said Nick was live too. Is there like three streams watching Tipster right now? But none. UTR one. As amazing as what you're about to see. Dude, he's making it. Guys, he, we have. He's copying the bully stream too. He's making a whole stream series on Tipster. Wait, Bro. breaking news bulletin. I have to deliver you the news, chat. Thank you, thank you, Mike the Bike for the donations. Rent stream incoming, chat. It is time for ultimate tipster review. Dude. I just want to see the chat reaction to this. Yeah, I'm stealing his content, bro. <laughs> Dude, everyone's bullying tipster! There's so many tipster bully streams! He's bullying tip! Bobby's watching He's you bullying now. tip! Everyone's bullying tip! It's a tip extravaganza! We need to combine. <laughs> we need to combine, bro. Yo! We need combined powers. Dude, it's tipster! I'm watch- Dude, I'm not even gonna give Tipster the view. I'm gonna react to Tipster through Chris the Narc, dude. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, dude, everyone's in everyone's chat saying that Nick, me, and Bowflex are streaming him Dude, right now. I'm- streaming Tipster. I'd rather watch Tipster through Chris than through Tip. <laughs> dude. Who said- They don't know who Bowflex is! Sure you know, big boy. That guy's getting banned! That guy's getting banned! Who the fuck doesn't know who I am? This is so fucking bad. Sure you know, big boy. That guy's getting banned. Wait, are we listening to each other through each other's streams now? This is like, this is like way better than actually watching Tipster raw. And dude, we don't even hear an echo of Tipster through this because he's not speaking. If he was speaking, we would hear some like tip through this, but we don't. Bad world. Because he doesn't know how to entertain. A lot of leaks. Oh, they muted me. You. Oh, that would have been funny Honestly, if I wasn't muted. Through this, but we don't. A bad world. Cause he. Bobby V. No, it's so true. Dude. Wait, I got banned. Yeah, back. Adel, Adel Wolf, you got Dude, banned. Dude, I was trying to talk with him. Uh, Bobby's watching you. You, you did a yes. pawn awful moment. You'll never know who I am. There's so many leaks in the boat. He has no idea. 
Or There's he so does, many leaks. He doesn't care. Dude, he's just playing he's Zelda. Playing. We're just watching him play Zelda. I love I, I, I'm, I'm going to call Chris. I'm calling Chris. We're combining the stream. Because I don't have anything else to, to add. I've already been two hours on tip mode. I've already been two hour tipping. Honestly, I need to record some stuff for um a video. I should be doing that instead of streaming. But it's getting too late anyway. I'll probably just upload that video tomorrow. I kind of feel bad because I'm trying to catch up on the George Not Found stuff, but. Where is. Chris the Nar? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is the set? Tardo at. Uh. I have so many Discord. Narks, Nark. Oh, he's not in his server. I can't just join. You're ready to write UTR. Down. Come on, prove it. I can help you. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> prove it. Boblax is gonna call you. Come on. Boblax is gonna call me. Why? Dude, watch Tipster. <laughs> Does Boblax want to call? Like, what the fuck? Yes. Glad I'm streaming this. Yeah, true, true, true. This is such a mess. What is what's oh, Nick? Mark, my bad. Uh, we've got sensitive society. Yo, we've show one of my videos. Am I in the search result? Got, yes. We've Twitter got versus Tipster. Blocks. We've got Lanza, but that's 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 the Vosh files. Uh, there's some Vosh related videos here. Turkey Tom's video on Mama Max. Uh, Dude, it's getting it's getting um. Chris hates you, Loki. Whoa, 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 Of us, what of us? I've made that a trend. Anytime somebody gets wait, has Tipster talked in the last? Oh my god! Look, look at how look at those look at those fucking titties. How's Tipster reacting to that? He better say something to that. Banned by Tipster. That's a trend now. Dude, he didn't even react to the big ass fucking vag in his face, dude. Oh no, dopamine. Dude, if if if, the, if the great fairy rap. if the great fairy had a cock right there, he'd be right he'd, be, he'd be jerking. Chill. We have a mole now. No, we don't. We're about to lose the mole. Dopamine's gonna snitch. Dude, he muted the tipster. No, it's it, it's not muted. It's just like low because you can hear the gameplay and you can see like the little the little sound here. Dopamine just. Dude, he muted it. What the fuck? This isn't a real tip react. Dude, I have to go. Dude, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Twitch. Is he saying anything? Bro, he's still not saying anything. He's still on the ferry. Is it like how long does it take for him to read? He's using all his brain power to read. Alright, come on. I wish they let you skip this shit faster. Oh, my bad. He's not even gonna bother reading it. Some good old Ocarina of Time is this your first playthrough? I've played it before, but it was like a long time ago. When I was like a teenager, I haven't played it since. Chris just said, "Why Bublax talking about Cox? What the fuck?" You are. You the best. never. Oh no, his viewers are going up. <laughs> Why do you say "oh no" to that? It's good for him. Fucking Yo, congrats on <laughs> pitting forty-seven <laughs> viewers tip. I was that one that made it go up. It went up by one, and it was me. Dude. Chris, and I got alert. I got banned from Tippy's chat. Yeah, you got fucking nuked. Dude, can me. anyone talk in Tippy's <laughs> chat? Dude, is anyone talking in Tippy's chat? It's like it's like communist China in there. No, it's like nothing in there. Look, uh, yeah, the there's nothing. That's what I think about it, the doghouse so far. Yeah, I love how I'm rapping. still talking yeah. with Chris it's through a stream and not even like he's not even like I'm not even talking to him. Dude, what is this fucking? What is this like uh, crackling I'm hearing? Is this, this from Tipster's stream? I thought for a second, like, did I leave on, like, 
a fucking like 4k like fireplace you know those like things on youtube where it's like 4k fireplace Like, I feel like I have one of these on, but it's just tipster stream. I'm gonna put it on mute. Like, don't... Dude. This is calling a calm. Dude, this is like the best, dude, pure gamer focus. Even the chat knows he's not doing shit. What is he doing? Dude, he is looking... Dude, he's looking frantically on the screen. Look at his eyes. Look at how they're darting. He's definitely, like, seeing some shit going down on Twitter. Dude, he's seeing the stream. He's watching my stream right now. Dude, he's watching me right now. Wait, what? Can we see it in his glasses? Wait. Is the Kristen Ark stream in his glasses? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Can we analyze that? Can we, like, zoom and enhance the reflection of his glasses? Wait, we need to reflect... It's not the game, I don't think. Is it the game? I mean, it is white. The game is kind of white right now. Do we know? Can we... Is it like high enough quality? They're like... Why is this not working? The fuck? What's he looking at? No, he's looking at Zelda. I see the little link in there. What is he, what is he doing? What the fuck is he doing then? Staring at the game? Like, trying to figure out how controllers were- Oh, what the fuck? Repsion was in here. We missed it. Wait, maybe Chris caught it. Because we're all on Tippy Watch. We're all on Tippy Watch. You caught- catch it? Fuck, I say pure gamer focus. That's not what that is. <laughs> that is not that- I asked Tipster if he would do a blow- blow on Keppels. Oh, is he trying to ban, like, Repsion? Is that what he was trying to do? Dude, even his chat doesn't know. Technical difficulties? Dude. Even his, even his fans. He's on Discord? Yeah, dude. He's typing in Clara. He looks miserable? True. I mean... I'm kind of miserable watching this. Like, what the fuck's going on? There's literally nothing happening. What is Chris saying out of this, dude? That is not what to spook them. Like, it's, it, I'd rather do a fucking Chris watch stream than Tipster watch streams, because at what least I get content in the, in, in the fucking the filtering you process. You would do blow on Kepler's. <laughs> Allow me to share the details. I feel like that, whatever signal is, is okay, probably just some you. Discord shit. News. Sorry, He's chat. no. Jackson. That like Google search Everyone's name. Stop. Search on YouTube strives to surface the most relevant results. According to keyword queries, channel videos are ranked based on a variety of factors, including how well the title, description, video... Holy shit, he's just getting bodied by everyone. How many people are watching Tipster get, like, destroyed right now? How many Tipster streams are going on? Live... gotta be like 1.5k or something how many do i have 200 did and uh, and only like one percent of the people watching this tipster stream is actually on the page dude he, yeah dude he's shed viewers what is he doing i need a rant to chris where's chris i'm i i need to actually like call him where is this fucker chris the will happen first chris picking up or tipster uh saying a word we already got two trolls hate watching well one confirmed troll sorry chad I'm, I'm trying to look at something but it's not working which is kind of annoying hmm one confirmed troll is watching is that me or Chris? Who's the confirmed troll? 
Chris is picking up. Not yet. He has not. Man, dude, this is like legitimately boring. What's going on? Confirmed troll. Which one? Is so it me or Boblax? Is it me or Dude, we're asking the same questions! Who is it? Who is it? I think it's Boblax. I think Boblax is the troll. Trolls do with such IQ. They're so right, because what are we doing? What are we doing, actually? <laughs> like, I'm gonna... That's what I'm saying, right, Dan. They are. Yeah. <laughs> listen, this shit. listen, we're making our own entertainment here. Tips are blocked. Trying to. Fat and he had to go to the gym. That seems like just. This is like a make content off, off of nothing like challenge with a tipster restream. This. Has he even said anything that's like oh. worth reacting to besides like what was at the oh, very beginning? Oh, what is this? Can I, I just watch and get cucked then? LMAO? That was too far even for me, lol. Cringe. Right. What is this? Mm. Where is this from? Where is this from? Stop. Mm. Hannah, 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 Hannah. You're leaking too much, bro. You're leaking too much. No, no. Mm. From the group chat with me and Omega on? I like how I'm reacting in his chat with like more viewers than him. I'm just like... <laughs> pick up some Discord calls. Boblack's calling. Yeah, he's yes! Like, Give me a second. Yes! Give me Give me a second, I'm gonna get Leon in. Yes, we're in. I was like just talking. Wait, now he's gone, dude. What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Yo, DM. yo, yo. I was watching Tipster stream and I got so bored, I checked out other Tipster streams and I saw yours. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, dude, he's not saying DM? anything, dude. He's not, but are you seeing this DM, dude? Are you seeing this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like him, um, him saying he's like getting cucked. It's just, dude. It's horrible. Dude, have you Why seen would... the have you seen the tweets where he's like, "I want to start a polyamorous relationship with you," like with a random on Twitter. Oh. Oh. And, yeah, but he was like JK after. He was like JK lol. But oh, really though, and then like this? eye emoji, you know. Were you what? Did you watch my stream when we found when the NF2 posted this? Wait, that's no. Tipster's group chat. Wait, that's Tipster's old group chat. Meg and Tips thirsty over big titty goth chat. This is not real. <laughs> Dude, is this why he was getting like schizo paranoid when someone in chat brought up big titties? He's like, yeah, titties are base, but why are you talking about that? No, no, because I, yeah, because we brought this up and I've been arguing Dude. with their mod. Oh, so that's why. Dude, I was wondering. I was like, why is he like so afraid to talk about titty? Dude, me, me and this mod, like, I think it's like chasing dopamine. They've been, me and them have been going back and forth, like, just shitting on each other and trolling each other. And I brought up the titties. I was like, what do you think about this group chat? They wrote in Tipster's chat, titties are based. The Tipster had no idea what it was about. Holy shit. Why is he so quiet now? Is he, like, looking up our streams? I think he's, I think he's being fed information. Yeah, because Nick is live with, like, a total Tipster, like, rape review or whatever. And Dude, you're live and I'm just... live. Everyone's live about Tip. Boogie's Dude, shitting people... on Tip. <laughs> people were in Tipster's fucking chat going UTR for Ultimate Tipster Review. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, can we like zoom in and hand on his glasses? I want to see what he's looking at, bro. It's got to be difficult. I don't know if you could zoom nah, in. Nah, I, I, I actually tried. I couldn't, Damn. I couldn't tell. See, I was joking that he's looking up all of our streams right now. And I keep hearing the Discord notification, but it's it is just Clara. Him. It's Clara. That. It is Clara. The stream should be titled Fat Man Stares at a Scream. It doesn't play Zelda. Yeah, he's not even playing, dude. It's one thing to be quiet to focus on the game. What is he focusing on? What's the point of streaming? He's They're like, yeah, I'm a guy. <laughs> You're snitching on us. Because <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about. Like... If he was actually entertaining in his own right, his chat would be able to react to what's happening on stream. But there's nothing happening! He's not giving entertainment! Really of course they're gonna talk about other shit. Well, no. What's gonna happen is that we're gonna argue with the mods. Like I've been doing for the past, like, yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> I haven't even been writing it in the chat. I just got banned. I was like, who the fuck's snitching? <laughs> Tipster will never be able to redeem himself after defending Vosh. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I agree with that. He had a chance to maybe, like, bring it back. Yeah, it was over after that. 
He's yeah, getting no, all these fucking notifications from Dude, people. Dude, they're all, they're yeah, all yeah. like, yo, do you, do you see that you're getting like completely like raped right. right now? Sorry about that. He's gonna... Dude, he, I he's saying gonna sorry get about that. He said sorry. Sorry after 20 minutes of standing still. Now back to it. Walks around aimlessly, doesn't say anything. Wait a minute. Is he even Activity progressing? On the Hold on. Are the mods talking about getting better mod training for themselves? What? <laughs> You gotta go to Twitch Mod Academy. I heard Miskiff's <laughs> Mod knows what's up. Stop saying sorry about that! I wish you would say something. You can say I'm... sorry again. Please speak. I want to be entertained, Tipster, please. Uh, tipster, please. Please. Please, Tipster. Is this stream so... Why is he even streaming this? What's the point? Because he just he, plays he, games after his streams. He's been hiding on Twitch for the past few. Yeah, days. but yeah, but I know I know he plays games. Of course, I know that. I've been. That's how I found the Palestine clip. But he usually <laughs> speaks. He usually <laughs> speaks like at least two words. I, Dude, he's scared. I think Leon's right. He's no. I think he's learning. He's I think this learning. Is he's a learning to <laughs> not talk. I mean, that's one yeah, way of not looking dumb. Is just not talking Shut at up, all. Kid. Yep, that, that's kind of the best method, is just completely try to shut it out and don't pay attention. And be as boring as possible so people don't watch you. <laughs> yeah, and be fat and have an ugly fade to make you look Play like even worse. on the Switch worse. or that console that emulates... Yeah, that, I'm, I'm playing it on the poly yeah. maker. If you need mod training, sorry, but you're cooked. Yeah, that's some terminally online shit. Uh, what is this? I think it'd be good some of us to know how to use the yeah. tools. Most are used to YouTube. Okay, used to YouTube. It, it's <laughs> kind of the it's kind of fitting that he's like in a graveyard right now like trying to pull up the ashes of his dead channel his dead career on all the fucking gravestones oh don't cause God. trouble and that's the youtube employee being like don't cause trouble your your search is too irrelevant still keeps pulling out all his Maybe dead I... I that's know. too great you know what chat you get another five What's free that? gifted members just Sorry, because man. just because you're making me laugh Bro, Let's see here. this shit is so sad. Yo, can we- <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's like an- It's like a fat- Dude, this is what Tipster's been degraded to. It's like all of his friends are laughing at him on stream while he's just sitting there silently playing Ocarina of Time with nobody in chat that gives a fuck about him. Holy shit. That's so funny. Wait a bit, bro. Wavy Websurf tweeted about Tipster. I had no idea. What did yes. he say? I always thought Tipster was sort of a naive boomer. I never would have imagined it would get this bad. He has somehow sped run, becoming an S tier law count in the span of six months. Fucking McNasty. I didn't even know who he was until the Boogie shit. Dude, the Boogie shit's such a good introduction to Tipster because the, the way Boogie talks about him is so over the top. He's like, I don't want to. I'm blocking you so I don't see CP on my timeline. Like, <laughs> it's so nutty. So everyone thinks like Tipster just like shares CP on Twitter now. Bro, that's who didn't insane. know about Tipster and watched a Boogie video, which is probably quite a few people. Probably. The Lollicon Guild had to report back to the everlasting knob sobbler about cucking allegations. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Thank you for the five pigeon. Oh, you can't move these ones. Okay. Come on, Tipster. There's just these ones down here. Damn, I'm surprised the ad there isn't a, like a Burger King ad or something. I keep getting food ads <laughs> on the Tipster streams. I'm just getting gaming ads. I've been watching dude, way too much Hell gaming and food, dude. Games. The two, two Tipster oh, staples. I forgot the... The ghost oh, and I, trans I, I people. Wish I wish I... And trans people. You get yeah. trans people ads. Tra tipster, tipster's like, if you want to come here, if you like eating, trans people, and gaming. That's what we're all about. <laughs> Jack, uh, does Chris... I do not want that, Sears. I do not want that. What is he... Reaper. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's fighting a ghost. His YouTube Doing didn't get shadow terribly. banned. Dude, I could understand maybe being silent if you're like a speedrunner doing like insane tack, but like... Who would unironically want to watch this? Like, like, Tipster's supposed to be an entertainer, right? And so like the ideal scenario is a new viewer comes in, watches them for the first time. What's the appeal here? What's the appeal to his YouTube videos? That's why it's not getting in search results. No one wants to click, dude. Because he doesn't make them... Well, no. It's not just that. It's like he's getting the Mama Max Onision treatment. He's mm -hmm. getting that treatment where it's like so many videos that are about him 
and his controversies are 50 times more entertaining than his own content. Yeah, exactly. That That's the thing. Is like He's so buried in the algorithm that nothing else matters in YouTube's eyes now. Yeah. So all the content is getting pushed that is anti-tip. Because uh, everyone that types in tipster clicks on anti-tipster videos. And it also works the opposite way. I use this example. Um, if you type in Muda on Twitter, some ordinary gamers comes up, even though it's not in his username. Because so many people who look up Muda are trying to find some ordinary gamers. So it just means right. that everyone looking up tipsters looking at tip videos. That's coming up. I just think it's I just think it's funny that to find his channel, you could just type in tipster lolly yes. and it's like it's it idiot. works. <laughs> it's just great. Dude, this the, the I can't fact believe he, he hasn't hit... spoke. We need to t Dude, turn on a timer next time he speaks. A timer. Yeah, sure. stopwatch. Dude, I'm just thinking like within six months, like what Wavy said, he became like prime law cow material. Like, I have people in the gaming community space that are reaching out to me being like, what do you know about Tipster? Because now he's involved in the Sweet Baby Ink drama. And everyone yeah. thinks he had such a bad fucking take. They all want to know about Tipster. And I was like, where the fuck do I start telling you about this guy? Like, where do I start? Yeah, <laughs> dude, we need that Nick video to release now more one. than ever. They got me. Okay, he spoke. I'm turning they got the Oh, they banned you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They got me. Okay, guys, oh, no. on my end, I've, st I've started the top uh, stopwatch because he did speak. We will see oh, how God. long it got. Fuck, dude, he spoke and he reset. Motherfucker said caught one. <laughs> <laughs> dude, fucking reset, dude. Dude, Emmy said caught one. Good job. <laughs> caught one, got one in the net. Little... Oh my god. Whoa, Dude, I one? Wait, you're black. Shit. Right. Dude, oh, you're racist. They, they're, they're catching people to like ext get them out of the white people only land. The hey, fat Andy Mexican Levine. only. Good to see you. It's been a while. Shut the fuck up. You guys are crazy. You're doing well. Blatant racism oh, going on. This is fucking insane, dude. And he claims to be left wing? Maybe. If in. Just because he's nice to tr trans black people. I don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. I don't know what you're saying either, man. I fucking give up. It's the one with flowers in front of it? Oh, okay. Hold on. I've watched too oh. much Tipster, dude. My brain flowers. is degraded. Gotcha. It's I already knew. Okay. Inside. I already Easy. knew he hated black people, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. Banning them <laughs> from the chat? <laughs> this is like the most we could extrapolate we out of what Thank you. Tipster's thinking. He's just not speaking. But I guarantee there's nothing going on in his head, bro. He is no, hollow as a fucking... Sybil Clay monkey moment. Yeah. There it is. Fucking A. Oh, God. Is is Nick watching another tipster? <laughs> He's not even watching the live stream. He's got another VOD pulled up. Dude, because this stream's too... Is it a random VOD? Tips are doing is he going, I don't like, know. Hold on. Is hold he going on. tipster diving? Cause that'd be I funny if you gotta diving. watch this guy's thing. It's like every three seconds he hits a sound. Oh, oh, let's go back in oh god, he's already he's already talking about the fucking sound. Trying not board. to think about it. Oh god, I hate going to the go. dentist. Okay. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> so, about that. Oh wait, he is watching the vod, dude. He's just watching like random shit now, like tipster talking about going to the dentist, dude. I was no, ahead dude. Of the that's curve. how his stream started. That's how the stream started. This uh -oh. stream. Oh, this stream. Oh, he's watching. So people were just clipping shit out. <laughs> Way to reach oh. with that uh, racist Dude, take. Maybe, maybe Nick can join us when he gets to the Ocarina agree. of Time part. Uh, it's free paying 80 rupees for a shield. Wait, yeah, who true. wrote that? The fucking uh, chasing whatever the fuck. <laughs> Did they really? Way to <laughs> reach with that phrase. <laughs> Way to reach with that. What am I supposed to think? Chasing I'm black. How dare you ban me? I'm a victim. Chasing and dopamine mean by bla banning up. black people? Mm. Right, dude. And it's Tips is a pedophile and a racist. Thank you guys so no. much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. Wait, he's wrapping it up? It didn't even like, start. I was waiting for the content. Earlier. What? You know, trolls will be trolls. It trolls will be trolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Trolls yeah. will be trolls. And Jack in the Box <laughs> meals will be Jack in the Box meals. Devour two of them right after this, like fucking candy, See dumb here. fuck. Keep Same. eating. I'm actually, I'm actually upset. That right now, a fucking balding. <laughs> Trolls, you're, you're molding troll. just like Tipster. The reason Tipster's Trip lost so much hair is he's molding, dude. Motherfucker said, "Ain't nothing we can't handle." <laughs>
Ain't nothing we can't have. Bionic pig? What? Dude, they're referencing the Says the, the trolls. <laughs> This is right. so bigoted. I can't stand this bigotry. Shark some love. Uh, they're a good creator. We Bionic like stuff. Pig. What uh, the stuff. Thank fuck? you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I'll be back I soon. Didn't. Uh, we're going to play some more Zelda, which ought to be fun. And I'll see you Yo, guys. Yo, one in the chat if you, if you enjoyed, everybody. two in the chat if you didn't enjoy the tipster stream. Like, tipster himself that we watched. <laughs> this is so fucking one unfair. One if you enjoyed, two, to f two if you hated it. God damn it. I'm oh, bro, it he blocked. Dude, he blocked Kiwi tapes. No, he dude, that guy oh, had God. recently had a viral video about a, a lol cow called Putts Twelve. Yeah. He could make one yeah. on Tipster now. Dude, him and Smokey MCC have been eyeballing Tipster for a bit, Ooh. and Smokey's known Tipster for years. He just never made a video on him, and now it's like prime time. Yeah, because I um I didn't know about Kiwi Tapes until I watched the Putts video, which was like a week or two ago. But I liked that video a lot, so I'm I'm curious on a Tipster version for sure. Dude, I absolutely love Kiwi and Smokey. They're they're good content creators. I I recommend. Are they them. like actually in commentary community and shit? Nah, they're like lol cow community stuff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Like that's the yeah, that's their whole thing. Is like Daniel Larson, Chris Chan, and all those guys. Yes, Tipsters definitely in that category, and they're all fat white dudes usually too. Well, Tipsters not white, but you know, close enough. He's he's a fat Mexican man. Yeah. Diversity, guys. Diversity. Yes, we have so diversity in the lockouts. We need diversity in Tipsters' they're, but they're all, This is they're sad. All fat. Yeah, true, true. I mean, he did play a different game, so at least like. No, I mean it's fucking shit, dude. Dude, Wait, what happened? Intelligent counter spell. I found this channel through Kiwi Tapes. What a Kiwi Tape shout me out or something? Because I know Null from Kiwi Farms said something nice about me. I I was told. Oh, was Kiwi Tapes like a reference to Kiwi Farms? I don't know. Maybe. I just think it's a good name. It's a solid name for lol cow content. Yeah, because it's like the tapes from the Kiwi Farm. Come on, guys, give Tipster some space. He can't even drink Mountain Dew anymore because he gets Vietnam style flashbacks. Dude, Boogie being he needs stuck in rabbit. Hole. He needs more space than we can give him. All right. Yeah, to be honest, at this point. Yeah, obese motherfucker. This is just this is just wonderful. I had a fun time. I had a fun time. <laughs> I just I love the fact That's that it. his mod was like watching so me and Leon just him? laugh at him. And I, they well, kept to trying to uh, troll back and it didn't house. work. Uh, and it said, said Donald Trump's going to buy for breakfast. Is that uh, just so you know? Like, okay, fine. Did Dude, did the guy that tipster raid even react? I don't know. I didn't see it. Uh, did he raid? Yeah, I don't know who he raided. He raided Shark Three Zero. Oh, that. Okay, I know who that is. Yeah, I think I've talked to him like once or twice on a Stardust stream. He seemed cool. I liked him. No, hold on. He's a friend of uh, he's a friend of Tipsters on his channel. Oh, let me find, let me find it. Oh, so he'd be like, I like you, Tipsters. Yep, this guy. He's not a tip hater, bro. It's the fact that he said he wasn't friends with Vosh, but apparently Vosh is a friend of the channel somehow. It's a little crazy. A little crazy. Dude, this guy isn't talking either. The Shark Zero guy I was watching his stream. He isn't talking either, dude. He's just like tip. All these people don't know how to engage in like basic conversations. Uh, is, you know, significant. Yeah, well, what's the point of streaming if you're just gonna watch a video and not say anything? Not at all. Uh, easy money and laziness. <laughs> He's not getting money though. No one's talked since the tipster raid. <laughs> Did he even get raided by Tipster? I don't fucking see a notification saying a raid. No, but you you can see like the little wiggling tips. Well, at least oh. on my version, I can. The wiggling tips. Yeah, and I got to this chann]ですね. channel because I was on Tipster tab or whatever his Twitch stream on another tab. I've made no secret of that. Gotcha. Uh, and this shark guy still hasn't spoken. Is Does that have yeah, he's just—he's still just sitting there saying nothing. Yeah, let me watch Don share. Lemon and Elon Musk. Like an of Don Trump Lemon and Elon Musk. Wow, it's such riveting content. I mean, a lot could happen between now and the election. It's, so see, it's the, just the tip raid, and are the choices. Just watching Elon Musk um, yap. And at that point, I may or may not endorse uh, one of the candidates. If I do, I will provide a very. Uh, it is like the tip raid that happened. Be endorsing Donald Trump. This meme is very oh, this guy just so jumps to he's so endorsing Donald Trump. I want to see if he reacted to the tipster raid. Because I, I feel like I feel like one of these days tipster's going to raid someone and then they're going to be like, fuck off, a tipster raid. That, You're retarded. That would be, 
Bro, that would be absolutely but, hilarious. But you rated someone, they're like, get the fuck out of your tips. Yeah, but you said you're he's friends with this guy, so. Mm. Hey, when funny. did the tipster raid come out? Being a part of the frenzy and being incredibly pog. I appreciate it. Oh, you finally you. talked. Oh, hey, listen, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. It helps out the stream, it help other people find it so they can join the community. And if you're like tipster's channel, chat besides screen chat, give it, give it an attempt, give it a try. The site chat, site emotes, emotes you can't find chat mostly. Tipster, Jesus, tipster the only time he talks is what, promoting his shit. Damn. No, honeybee. From conservatives, imagine. In better news, my puppy Honeybee graduated pu puppy kindergarten. Yo, Honeybee. What? What? Where's Tip? <laughs> the fuck is, uh, the fuck is oh, puppy kindergarten? They break the, they oh, here's a tipster raid. Right? It's coming in to give them around the, here. They were bending the rules around a lot of conservative content. Oh wait, I need to make, move my Mayo monkey on my stream. They spent so much time breaking the rules that they had to give them special exceptions. Twitter specifically had exceptions for conservatives on. Uh, on Twitter. Oh, yep, I see the tips are wigglers. Because they yeah, the they're coming in. What's they his have, reaction? God, he even had to rip so off Keffel's little wiggler thing. That's so yeah. mercy rule it's, for saying it's so slurs. weird. And so you, and so if you were a conservative, that that they were like, yeah, this is a conservative person. Oh, there's more of them coming in. Like, belting off horrible stuff that goes against TOS, you would get a lighter sentence than if you weren't. Oh, especially God. if you were a. Um, especially is this guy coping about Elon taking over Twitter? I don't know. Lesser sentences. They, they implemented when is he gonna diversity. stop yapping How tips straighted you dude it's a big it's a big event such a large creator it's such a large big a famous creator a famous he's bigger than tipster hello readers i appreciate you there you go <laughs> fuck him where is it i'm blocking him dude hold on i found sir i found something Kevils is very mad right now. Are still. <laughs> Whoa! F. Oh my God! She is fake supporting LGBT as she has retweeted a slur against the, them. Wow. So true, dude. She she hates gay people. She hates all gay people. She hates all gay people. It's a it's a matter of fact now. This is great. This is great. This is the kind of content we need. It's something, something wholesome. Something just funny to laugh at. <laughs> Wait, Tipster? With... Dude, <laughs> did, like... did, uh, did Tipster ever say, like, why he thinks his channel is getting suppressed in the algorithm? Because I watched uh... his stream. I, I reacted to it, and he all he said was, like, uh, oh, yeah, this is just typical YouTube bullshit. Yep. I have a theory yep. on what's going on, but then he didn't say it. But that's exactly what it was. That's what he said. So he's trying to deflect from it being like, because Gayfesh is saying it's shadow banned. So I'm assuming Tipster thinks his channel is now shadow banned because of the Vosh drama. But me and you and Leon and Nick and everybody who has a fucking brain knows if a lot more creators are making videos on you as a subject, your channel will be buried because yeah. those videos are more entertaining. It's just a fact of life. Yeah, and Tipster <laughs> should know that too. It happened to Onision. It happened with Mama Max, I think you said Susie as well. Susie Lou. Susie Lou, it might have happened to. Like, it happens to a lot of people. Usually, it, it only doesn't happen if they're just so big that, like, they're going to show up anyways. Like, James Charles or, or Dream or George Not Found, but... Yeah, like like if it if it's like a main staple YouTube channel, right? That YouTube really loves, they won't let that happen. But if you're just hundred thousand sub Andy that's getting shit on across the internet, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna give a shit. Even Illuminati with like a million plus subs still got destroyed the hell and back. So like, I don't know why he's pretending <laughs> that that's not what's happening to him right now. And he has to ask YouTube, why did YouTube shadow ban me? Yeah, so Gayfish says, why is Tipster's channel shadow banned? And they just say, here's recommended optimization search or whatever. And he's like, this isn't a case of him not using optimization. This is a case of him being shadow banned, you useless fucks. Okay, Tipster's channel is a lot of things, but I would not call it algorithmically optimized at all. No. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. How, how many times? How many times has he deleted his videos? Because that also killed his channel, right? Like, didn't yeah. he private all of his videos for like a couple of months? I need to type in Tipster Lolly. First video, the search engine. But like, just his videos in general aren't 
things people want to click on. Like, what are the chances that there's like this is going to come up and someone's recommended? Like J.K. Rowling Holocaust. goes from turf to Holocaust revolutionist. You'd have to be like searching up videos about like Harry Potter and World War Two at the same time for that to come up and recommend it. Like, there's this, like this isn't optimized. This is shit, dude. But of of course, gay fish is like, ah, oh, this is just typical YouTube bullshit. They don't even like read what YouTube says. Because Tipster was like, uh, in his stream, he was like, um, oh, this is just typical old shit that YouTube tells everyone or whatever. But he didn't even read what they said. Like, t YouTube explicitly told them exactly why his channel was not. Well, they did tell result. him. Well, well, no. Even in there, they told him directly. They were like, people are using your name in the titles of their videos, so it's harder to search for yours. So they essentially told him, hey, there's a lot of people shitting on you right now. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that YouTube was just so based about it. They were like, yeah, you're yeah. irrelevant. It's because they're just giving him, like, the information. Like, with with Google support, like, the goal is um, to let you ask a question and then they give an answer. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then... You know, if you ask a question like, why is this happening to my video when there's an error, then they'll respond and be like, oh, there's an error, I'll fix this for you, or whatever. But typically, they're not going to fix your issue because there's a reason behind it. And I've, I've talked to YouTube support before, and I'm like, why is this happening? And then they explain to me, and I don't like it, but I'm like, okay, well. Uh, and, and that's the same thing that's happening here. They're literally, like, just telling Tipster straight up what's happening logically, but it's just such a burn for Tipster indirectly <laughs> because it's like, okay. You're not getting to the search results because everyone's making videos on you. And the YouTube just, employee doesn't know what those videos are. They might just think to, but like. Well, no. Did you see in the thread? He, uh, he sent them screenshots of the search results that he pulled from his channel. So that means he screenshotted me, you, Nick. All the other creators that have made videos. Oh, him. yeah. So oh, so the that's how to see that. Yeah, so that's how they got the. Oh my god. So yeah, that's how they gave him his answer. They're like, they see the screenshot of like them, you typing in tipster and it like coming up with exposed videos and they're like, okay. <laughs> this is the They're like, okay, dude. You're, you're, you're just getting shit on. Oh, dude, I'm shit. looking at your screen right now. That thumbnail I made for the tipster video, what Mishi made for the tipster video is fucking nuclear. <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh, <laughs> it's like the little lollies like hugging tipster. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Tipster it's the loves most nuclear. Shit. It's the most nuclear thumbnail on my channel. Whoa, dude. Oh my, oh, this is from Chud Logic's second channel. I thought this was like a full-on, like, made video, but this is probably a stream clip. But regardless, there's a whole tipster retrospective now that's, like, three hours long. Is this image lolly commentary retrospective? Dude, because he, he watched the commentary AIDS clip. Uh, why, t why the tipster bridge was burned and he watched the whole thing. That's awesome. Does it oh my god. I haven't watched that whole thing. Does it actually like show uh, like all the major points? I would assume so. It gives like the most recent one, like the most recent Augie stream that you guys did yeah. where uh where Muda called in. That that's where it starts and then it kind of goes through it. But in the context of like everything from like years ago up to now, no, it doesn't go that far back. I wish Yeah, it did. but but I mean that's that's enough to know kind of What's generally going on now? I don't know. With Tipster, there's just yeah. a lot of extra flavor. Um, there's so there's so much information. <laughs> exactly. So That's why. Why do you think I have so many bully streams? Why do you think Nick started a a new series called Ultimate Tipster Review? <laughs> Dude, I was literally he was in my stream chat, and I was joking. I was like, "You need to make a graphic for Ultimate Tipster Review or some shit." And he fucking made it and sent it to me. I was like, "There's no way you fucking did that." Did. <laughs> Dude, there, there had, there's another full-on tipster stream series, dude. Do we all dude. stream about tipster? Okay, serious question. I think a Geno Samuels style channel needs to be made for tipster. For tipster, he needs it. Like every single day, he's online. It's just logged. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because yeah, we need like some. Or at least, like, some A-logs to make, like, a tipster parody channel. Kind of like how they do with DSP and Wings and stuff. But, like, I'm pretty sure that's some just of this shit. You. I'm pretty sure that's just you at this point. I guess, but, like, I don't really... Yeah, I do do, like, tipster reviews and laugh at him, but... 
I don't really like go out of my way to like catalog every single thing, but I end up doing it anyway because I want to laugh at everything. But yeah, that's like this eventually. Is the best way of doing it. I'm not planning on um, being the perfect a log for Tipster. No, no, I'm gonna be real. Like, there's no perfect a log for Tipster just yet. There's gonna be a guy that comes comes around eventually. Yes, but it's not yet. It's not yet. He he will be he will be born before we know it. He'll he'll make a channel and we won't see it coming. Yeah, like Let's banished Germo. The the fucking the fake Tipster account people should have made that. Dude, that would be great if he came back from the grave and started making fake yes. TikToks again. <laughs> All the or trans Tipster. He's in my chat right now. Trans Tipster could, could log him. The trans could. Tipster account. Dude, it's so funny because that meme like happened because like everyone was making fake tipster accounts and trans is just like one thing to add. But now tipster is like super, super like pro trans. So it's just funnier now, I suppose. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta send Nick the fucking the cuck chair DM. I have to send him that. He's <laughs> Just for tips. Um, that was rum. Oh, that was a joke, chat. That was a joke. <laughs> I want to see if Nick will pull this up. Oh, no. Wait, what the fuck? Wait. Notifications here for that. I wonder if uh, he's going to do case, it. Uh, come on, Nick. Again, come on. Uh, so much uh, for all the support and everything. It is definitely uh, appreciated. Um, but, yeah, I think that's the best way that you can. Nah, he's not going to pull it up. He needs to see the cuck chair one. Uh, he needs to see it. Yo, what is the cuck chair one? But, uh, it is what that's it is. the one I was he's showing where it was, uh, uh, can I just watch it to get cucked and LMAO? Oh, that was yeah, the Hannah DM. Dude, Tipster does so much insane shit that I'm, like, forgetting, all like, instantly. <laughs> it's just I'm like, oh, crazy. that embarrassing Tipster thing. Oh, there's, like, a hundred. that. <laughs> Which one do you think is the worst? Out of every tipster clip, which do you think is, like, personally the one you cringe at the most? Uh, Why the Water Hot One's not like Dick. That's oh, a good that's, one. That's a good but that one. Was a, that's a tweet, but not a clip. Bob Black was oh, a clip. Fuck. Or just any tipster moment. That counts. Uh, that counts. Let's see your favorite. Not like Dick. Everyone's got to have your favorite. It's like a favorite flavor of pizza or ice cream. Like, what's your favorite tip? The pink haired goth mommy one is the one that makes my skin crawl still to this day, kind of. Oh, like the image of him looking like. Uh, he was just like, ooh, pink haired goth mommy. Yeah, dude. With, with those artists like uh, wor Worm and stuff like that, making those yeah. ugly ass pictures, some of those are unsettling they in the most are, intentional way possible. I gotta think. I think the worst thing I ever saw was when Tipster threw up on live stream doing the shots and stuff. That was just gross. Really oh yeah, that was kind of gross. gross. <laughs> what are we going on? Two and a half. Two and a half hours is all right. That's fine. I think I'm. I think I'm going to cut it yeah, off. Yeah, I'm right. two and a half as well. Wait. Yeah, we started dude, at the same time. Dude, we've we've been battling this whole time, but we came together at the end. It's true, true. That yes. that's true companionship right there, Leon. Yes. We're playing hell divers. We all. We playing hell divers. Me and you, bitch. Collective. Win. Now, after this. Oh, God. All right. I'll see you, boys. <laughs> yeah. Check this. All right. Let's stalk Nick's stream now. Uh, I have nothing else to talk about. Okay. And I want to watch Nick's stream, but I also like streaming. So I want to just stream snipe Nick. Dude, fuck it. I could raid. I do have stuff to record today, but it's like, now it's so late that I won't be able to record it in time to release today. So I'm like, I can just do it anytime later. I don't really have anything left to say about Tipster. I've done so many fucking streams on him, bro. What's left to, there to say? I mean, they're they're laying off. What do they lay off? Like fucking fifty percent of the staff within the last two layoff runs. Well, I should get to recording the George Not Found video. So, wait, play your last tweet. Trans Tipster. Oh, is it the retweet, the Hannah shit? Uh, or is it this? Nice CP, homie? <laughs> I love that quote that I made him made for the break, fucking. Break. Yo! Great, great. 
Rape, rape. Turn the shit up on this. Rape, rape. Fuck, it's not working. Make a suck your dick. The first date. You scared the rape of bitch? I can't relate. She let me in the house. Nobody's safe. Not fast to play. Rape, rape. <laughs> nice CP, homie. Nice CP, homie. I love all the tipster um thumbnails I've done. They're so good. Every every tipster them. Wait, I'll just like type in tipster Boblax and maybe all my videos will come up. How many tipster videos have I made? CP. <laughs> the horse, the lolly. CP. What fat pedo war? You're a lollycon. You're a grifter. Fat pedo war by Chud Logic. Yo, that's a good thumbnail. My CP queen. That's one of my favorites. Nice CP, homie. <laughs> nice CP, homie. Epic. All right. All right, fat pedo war, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this tipster bully round. It's been fun. Uh, and now... I'm going to send you to even more tipster bullying. Thank you all for sticking around. I appreciate it. It's been super fun. Uh, more streams coming soon. Enjoy the first episode of Ultimate Tipster Review. I don't know if he's doing it just one time as a joke, but there is the one in there, so you might got two. You might get two tipster bully stream series going on. Dude, I. Me and Nick are probably two of the biggest tipster bullies, and we still haven't, like, joined forces to bully together on a stream. We need to do that soon. Well, we're going to join forces in the video, and that's going to be nuclear. Nick's video on tipster going to be nuclear. My segment, at least my segment. I don't know about the rest of the video. But, yeah, crazy bully stream tonight, crazy bully time. Have fun bullying him more as I work on videos. Yes. Thank you all.